Yeah. Uh, money make the world go round. I'm trying to get a dog right now. Everybody worried about the crown, bitch. Look, call me on the man right now. Talking to a peon, kind of time we on. Don't roll like the kind of take eons. Got a little buzz, it's time to go beyond. Can't look back, no time to hit rewind. Yeah, she wants to do that. Good morning, everyone. Today we will be having our basketball tournament 2024. Crawford Defense Academy, Maine versus Aces. Peel versus Windsor. College Park versus Ottawa. And Grandview versus Crawford East. will be co-ed with five boys and one girl on each team and they'll be versing for the trophy. Each team here are excited and eager to win this trophy. So the first match will be Aces versus Crawford Maine.
As the matches are about to begin, each team are getting ready, talking with each other, encouraging each other. They're locked in. So Maria, who do you think will win the match? Um, I am not really sure. I haven't really seen Aces play. But, you know, it really depends on who has like the most teamwork, who communicates, you know. I think Crawford Maine has a pretty solid lineup. Mm -hmm. I mean we have Kingston on the court. Yeah. I think we have Talia. We have Benjamin. Mm. Benjamin's a good shooter. I mean, never really seen Aces play, so I don't know how, like, what they have in store. But I think Crawford has this one in the bag. Yeah. Yeah, Crawford is just. Crawford's gonna bring it home. Oh, we have number 13, Andrew Patterson, on the court as well. Yeah. He's a good shooter. He's good with threes. I mean, he's all right with layups. So, I think we have a pretty good advantage with this one. The gym has a pretty good atmosphere. Everybody's excited. We got the aces warming up. We have the viewers holding their signs, their posters up. So everybody's just waiting for the game to start. Okay, so the aces are warming up. Three pointer shots. See the audience chattering. Waiting for the game to start. Yeah. Because everybody's kind of anxious to see who's gonna make it. Waited for this game for quite a while, so hopefully Maine wins, hopefully. Hopefully, yes. I don't know, we haven't really seen aces, but... Aces are not too bad. We see aces and main warming up for the game. Shaking off all those nerves. I'm getting ready to play. Both teams have been working hard for this moment. So it all comes down to this. Practicing their layups. That's 
time. Getting ready to play. The starting lineup is going on court. I think they're still warming up. Quite a bit of haze outside. <laughs> we have our loyal mascot, number seven. Repping the Crawford Wolves. Walking around, greeting the fans. And we got the Omega fans cheering on as they warm up. Quite excited. Oh, there's our mascot. Turbine player. Takes a lot of risk. Throws up a lot of threes. So that will be exciting to see in the game. are huddling together making sure that they're one making sure that they know what to do when they go so they so they get to the semifinals and finals and even win that trophy 
And if you're joining online, thanks for viewing. Right now, the first match is between Aces versus Crawford Main. The match is about to start. Okay. Aces versus Crawford, Maine. Again, the first match is between Aces versus Crawford, Maine. And the ref is getting ready to. to blow off the game. Discuss it with each team. The game has just begun. And Crawford Maine has the ball. Okay. Okay. The pass. Ooh, Ooh. they able to make it. Again. And, and the number ball zero is in. with the layup. And the fans are. Crawford main defense. Ball is passed. Ooh. Number zero with that defense. Number 22 with the ball. Oh. Out. Okay, CAA with two points, Aces none. Aces, Aces with Pass the ball. It. Passes it. Ooh. Out. Aces ball. with the ball. Number zero, zero on defense. defense. <laughs> the pass. Oh, Ooh, the steal. From 22. 22 with the layup. Oh. oh. Passes it to zero. Number and two. Four zero. Aces passes the ball, making their way half court. Stolen from number 13. And it's in. Crawford six, Crawford. Aces zero. Crawford is leading this. Pass. Aces passes the ball. Passes it again. Zero with that defense. Ooh. Foul.
so. Aces gets a free throw. Maine gets the free throw. <laughs> Number zero. Oh, this is a shot. Rick. Free throw two. Goal! Goal is in! Well, he took the first one pretty rough, but the second one he did get in. Main seven, aces zero. Okay, aces coming up. But zero is it locked in with its defense. Ace isn't giving up the ball so easily. Putting in a lot of work. Aces throws the ball. Okay, number 22 has the ball. Zero. Okay, ace with the ball. Slowly but surely making her way half court. She passes the ball. Number three coming in with a defense. Tries to steal. Oh, and here comes zero and goes and for makes three. A shot. Oh, air ball. Air balls. Main pass to the ball. Kingston making his way half court. Number two. Main eleven aces zero. what he said earlier. Yes, I think Crawford Main has this in the bag for sure. They have a pretty clear advantage, but let's see where the game takes them. Yeah, because Ace could have a comeback. Never know. Aces passes the ball. Ooh, misses the catch, but recovers it. Oh, oh. Blocked by 13. Ooh, and oh, and zero, zero steals the, the ball. Makes the layup. And it's in. Main 13, ace is zero. Okay, ace with the ball. Oh, zero tries to swipe the ball. Passes it. Main has possession. Ooh, aces has possession. Passes it. Number zero, zero going with in with defense. defense. Mm. <laughs> Out. Okay, so it seems that First quarter, both teams are on timeout.
team Crawford Maine has their hopes up, looking very high spirited. up going back on court aces looking like they're about to lock in and we have some new additions to the team number 10 20, that, number 20 number 15 and I think number number, number one, one. And Let's see with the layup Main 15, ace is zero. Okay, 10 coming with the defense. Passes, ace passes the oh. ball. Ace is making their way towards net. Okay, now 15 has the defense on. 10. Ace is trying to pass the ball. Ace is passing the ball. But 10 is still hot on their heels. Ooh, 15 oh. trying to. And the 20 made a steal. 15, layup. Oh. Ooh, it's not in. So close. Aces making their way to the net. They pass it. 15. Come with the block. Passes the ball. Aces seems to be on their toes oh. right now. Slowly making their way to the net. Ten passes it to fifteen. Fifteen. Ooh. Main still with possession. Passes it to ten. Oh, and twenty. Main seventeen. Aces zero. Okay. Aces with the ball coming up. They shoot. Oh, Doesn't make it. Makes an air ball. Main making their way. Main 19. Ace is zero. Okay, wrap with the ball. Wow, look at all that stamina. Crawford Main really pulling out their A game today. Crawford has a clear advantage in this game. If Aces really want to bring a comeback, they must lock in for this one. Or it might Based be on the over. scores right now, who do you think will win, Maria? Well, if all goes well and the Aces don't bring on their A game, well, Crawford Main is going to win. So it seems. Both teams are in heavy discussion. And aces are yet to get on the scoreboard. Looking a little anxious. Mm. The 
if I was the aces right now, I would probably be feeling a bit nervous. But you know. Wow. At 11 o'clock, they'll still be able to play another game. And both teams are back on the court. Still in first quarter. Okay, new player coming in, number eight. Okay, number 15 coming in with the defense. Aces Ace passes the ball. Number 10 with the defense. Passes, Aces passes the ball. <gasps> Deal. And number 10 scores. Main 21, Aces 0. Look at that adrenaline. 20s pass and dodge. Aces are really trying to make a comeback here. Crawford Main is still locked in. Ball coming up, passes it. Oh, oh. And, and it's out. Blue. Aces ball. Both teams are really pushing right now. Aces slowly making their way to the net. Ooh, it's out. Bad pass. Made with the ball. Passes it to number 15. Making their way down court. Yeah. It's number in! One. Number one with a layup. Main, 23, aces, zero. Wow. Main 25, aces 0. Crawford is really putting their all into this right now. Aces the ball. Tries to save it, but it goes out. Okay. A new player is in. Number 11 replaces 20 and number 14. Number 11 goes for layup and, and is in. in. Main 27, aces zero. That Lockford is putting their heart and soul into this right now. Okay, the ace players. Passes the ball. Aces is really doing their best to get on the scoreboard. Stolen Ooh, from number 15. Layup in. Main 29, Aces zero. Aces pass to the ball, going slowly but surely. Okay, number 11, coming in with that defense. Okay, 
Time of point team with the defense too. Aces gets the ball, passes it. Looks like they're being surrounded right now. Ace is still with the possession Crawford of the has ball. Really good defense. Passes the ball. Going for two. Oh. And the ball is out. Crawford made with the ball. Uh. Crawford coming up to the net. Wow, there's lots of dribbling going on. Crosses him up. Crawford making their way to the net. Oh. Aces has possession oh, and it's out. It's out. Is trying their best to get on the scoreboard. Oh. But Cra the Crawford Maynard is not about to let them have it. Passes the ball. Oh. And Camilla has it. And oh. Camilla with the ball. Oh. Goes for two. And it's in. Number one. Main 31, aces zero. Aces with the possession of the ball. Aces they have to try to make it. Aces have to try to make a, make a shot if they want to make it in. Oh, aces going to net. Lots of defense right here. Number 24 has the ball making his way down. And number 15 goes for two, it's in. Main 33, aces zero. Aces are doing their best to make a comeback. Passes the ball. Aces are getting serious now. of the ball goes for the layup. Making your way down. Oh, and it misses. Number 15 with the ball. He shoots. Goes for three. Ooh. And it's in. Main 35, aces zero. Aces is under a lot of pressure right now. Hofford is locked in Get today. A shot in. Slowly but surely, Aces is making their way towards the net, passes the ball, goes for three. Ooh, but misses. Time out. Crawford is really putting their soul into this, Maria. Yes, they are. 35-0, Aces is yet to make an appearance on the scoreboard. Trying their best to. up making their way back onto court 
Crawford main and aces. All right, best game is Keel versus Windsor. We're starting with 55 seconds right away. Oh. Keel versus Windsor. You called it, Maria. Peel and Windsor will be starting in 55 so, seconds. Peel is going to be over here. Windsor is going to be over here. Okay. Aces has no chance now. So it's going to get a score in, though, making their way down to the net. <laughs> shoots it. Misses. Crawford has possession now, making their way to the net. Ooh! Passes the ball to 24. Oh, oh 24 oh. makes it. Aces has possession. possession. Goes for oh goal, misses. Another miss. Still trying to get it in. Oh. Yeah! Aces two! Main three. Aces finally make a appearance well, on the scoreboard. Was well, a little bit of a struggle there, but in the end they got it in. Aces two, main 35. Ooh, and 15 tries to game. make it. That is game. Getting ready for Peel versus Windsor. to the second match. The second match between Peel versus Windsor. Vultures, we're starting right away. We're starting right away. Aces and main are getting ready for their high five. Hey, shake hands. Winter, Windsor are getting ready for their match. Who will win? I've never seen any of these games play basketball before, so I have no idea we'll what the advantages will be. We'll just have to find out. But we'll show in the end. Getting ready for their game. Peel in purple, Windsor in red. take them too long to get used to the game and they'll be able to put in their best work. What do you think is going to happen in this match? What do you think is going to happen Wait. in this match? I have no idea. 
I think Windsor has this one, but I'm not too sure. Getting ready for their match. Well. Well, Maria, last game was pretty exciting. Looked like Crawford had a main advantage. <laughs> okay. Getting ready for this one. And Peel has the ball. Get my start. Making their way down. Windsor versus Peel. Oh. Peel looks like their teamwork is. Ooh. Windsor nearly got the ball. Wow. Windsor has a lot of energy, really putting that work in. Ooh. Peel almost got it in. It's out. Ref takes the ball. And Windsor has it, passes it down. Making their way up. And it's in! Windsor two, Peel zero. Windsor starting off on the leaderboard. Peel making their way down, passes the ball, and it's it out. out. Windsor ha has the ball. Going down. Oh, goes for three. Almost makes it in. And Windsor scores. 4-0. Peel makes their way down. Doing their best to get on the leaderboard. Peel the possession of the ball. Goes for Goes two. For it. Oh, and, and makes it in. in. Peel, Peel two, two points. Windsor four. Okay, so it might seem like they're making their way down. This game might be passes the ball. Goes for three. Almost makes it in. Goes for three. For Ooh, doesn't make it Break. in. Windsor still not giving up. Goes for another one. Doesn't make it. Peel. Looks like quite a bit of a struggle here. Peel the possession of the ball. Peel making their way down. Oh. Peel the Win possession of the ball. Oh, but loses it. Winter takes it. Okay, number three. Making their three way down. Coming in. Ha. And, and number in. three gets it in. It's Windsor six. Peel two. Peel making their way down. Oh, Peel still has the ball. Goes for three, doesn't quite make it. Okay, number 12 with the possession of the ball. Windsor has it. Passes it. Oh, they try to make for three. the shot. Windsor, Windsor 9, PL2. Wow. Look at what that. What an incredible shot. Peel makes their way down. Okay, Peel is now trying to catch up to Windsor. Number 12. Oh, passes the ball. Oh, why the little man? Oh, and Winston took it, making the way down. Number three. Oh, oh Peel gets the ball. 
Oh, and, and it goes Windsor back has to possession Windsor. again. Going for three, didn't quite get it in. Passes the ball. And he drives it. Ooh, it doesn't quite make it. Windsor has number four the with the ball. Number six. number six goes for three. Ooh, but doesn't quite make it. Peel has the ball, making their way down. Passes it to 16. She has the ball, making her way around the defenders. And it's out. Well, Peel has it, passes it. Ooh, but Windsor gets it. He's making number his way 12 down. Number coming in. Passes it to number six. Oh, but oh, Peel Windsor. gets the ball. Windsor recovers the ball. Making the way down. Passes to number, number three. three. Goes for six. Goes for three. Ooh. The ball is out. Ruff has the ball. It looks like Heel is getting a free throw. Let's see if they make it. Well, the game has been exciting so far. Both teams are on the leaderboard with Windsor and their clear lead. Peel shoots the ball, Ooh, makes it in. Another one. And it's it in again. Heel four, Windsor nine. Windsor passes the ball, making the way down. Ooh. And it goes, ooh, nearly Almost makes in. it. Number 12 with the ball, passes it. Number six, 12 with the ball again. He goes for three. three. Ooh, not quite in. Peel now has possession of the ball, making their way down. And, and it's out. out. Well, Peel is really trying to get even with Windsor. Windsor has the ball. Peel is, slowly, her way down. Peel is slowly making their way back. Climbing back on the Through the ball. Throws for three, doesn't make it in. Peel passes the ball. Making his way down. Getting through the defenders. Passes the ball. Oh, oh, and Windsor steals the ball. Making his way down. Ooh. Oh. Peel or a little bit of scramble the right there. Peel has the ball. Passes it. Ooh. Slips through her fingers, but they recovered it. 12 for, for Peel still gets it. Making his way down. He tries to make it, oh. not quite in. Peel still has the ball though. Oh, oh and, and it's, it's in! Peel six, six Windsor, Windsor nine. nine. Peel might actually have a comeback for this one. Windsor needs to step up their game if they want to pull away. That's timeout. Going back to their team to discuss.
Um, and both teams are getting back on the court. Ready to play. Okay, Peel and Windsor back on the court. Let's see if they'll put any of the advantages they discussed to good use. This is Peel versus Windsor. Peel is actually getting a comeback. Windsor needs to step up their game if they're in to keep their place. Windsor has the ball. Number 12 passes it to six. Making their way to the net. Oh, goes for a layup. Misses. Peel has the ball. Juggling their way through all the defenders. Goes for two. Make it. Winter has the ball. Pushing to the net. Goes for two. Makes it in. Winter 11. Peel 6. Wow. What? Look at that. Oh, Pushes it away from the defenders. Wide open, too. Winter has the ball. Making their way down again. Oh. Peel with the possession of the ball. Coming up to half court. Oh. Peel has it. Passes the ball. Windsor with the possession. Making their way to the net. Goes for three. Ooh, doesn't, doesn't quite it. make it. Peel with the possession of the ball. Pushing their way. Passes it, but doesn't quite make it. Doesn't go through the defenders. Windsor. Oh, and Windsor gets it in. Peel six, Windsor 13. 13. Look at that. Look at that, wide open again. Didn't quite think she was gonna make it, but she did. It seems like Windsor's uh, pulling away once again. Will Peel be able to make a comeback? Windsor, Windsor with possession of the ball. Oh. oh. Try and make it through all the defenders. Number 12 passes the ball to four. Pass it goes for three. Doesn't make it. the ball passes it to six, six and goes for three. not quite in again wow wins is having quite a bit of a struggle here passes the ball to six six gets the ball passes, passes it, it to, to four. four goes four for three. Oh, not quite there and the ball is out Windsor has the ball. Number four. Number four has the ball. Four passes it. Seven. Seven. And the ref takes it. Windsor 13, Peel 6. Windsor has quite the lead. But Peel might catch up. Windsor's on defense. Peel passes the ball. Windsor takes possession. 
Number seven ah, makes his way. Oh, but doesn't quite make it. Peel has the ball. <laughs> and it's out. <laughs> Four minutes till the end of this game. Oop! Heel makes it in. Windsor makes it in. Windsor 15, Peel 6. Peel passes the ball. Windsor takes possession. Almost made it. Goes out. Number 12 with possession of the ball. Passes it to four. Trying her best to four go through the defenders. Six. Ooh, Number six, six almost makes it. it. Six. Windsor still has possession. Passes it to four. Passes it to six. And Windsor makes it in. Windsor 17, Peel six. Wow. Juggled their way through all the defenders. Made the shot. <laughs> Windsor is pulling away once again. Peel has the ball. Okay, it goes and the out. ball's out. Peel has possession. And Windsor takes it. Making their way to the goal. Peel is really pushing. Peel is now stepping up their game. Oh, goes for shot, make it doesn't make it, and it's and out. The ball is out. <laughs> Windsor has possession, making the way down, and goes for shot, doesn't make it. It's Windsor 17, Peel 6. Peel has possession. Loses the ball, gets it back. Peel and Windsor takes it. Windsor. Oh, going for shot. Keeps it in play. Number three goes for three. Doesn't quite, Doesn't quite make, make it. Make it. Out. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, Windsor takes possession of the ball. Number four going down. And Windsor makes it in. Windsor 19, Peel 6. And the ball's out once again. Windsor <coughs> has the ball. And they make it. Windsor 21, Peel 6. Game's almost over. Windsor has a clear advantage right now. If Peel wants to get, wants to come in first, they must step up their game. They must lock in to get this one. Not quite a lot of time on this match. Peel has the ball, trying their Peel best the ball. to get another shot in before time runs up. Making their way down, 20 seconds on the clock. It looks like Windsor will win this one. Peel makes their way down, passes the ball. Out. Five seconds on the clock. One minute. Oh. The game is 
one more minute actually. And time is up. Next Winter match is between game, College game, Park one, versus six. Ottawa. Again, the next match, match three, is between College Park versus Ottawa. And Winter won the last game, 21 6. It was quite an eventful match. I mean, both teams put in their, the best effort they could. And YouTube music that was really a close out. match. Even when your screen's off, or was it close to Maria? I mean, 21 to six. Maybe in the, the beginning, beginning match, it was a very close they game. They were heads ahead, but then Windsor pushed, gave it their all, and got the clear advantage. Both teams did their best. Are we supposed to write down who wins or loses? Now it's College Park versus Ottawa. From the top, Crawford Main won their first match, and Windsor won the second. Now it's time for College Park versus Ottawa. Once again, I do not know whose team is better. I do not know who's good at layups, who's good at three-pointers. So this game is going to be another interesting match. I've never seen any of these um, players play before, so have no idea who has the advantage, who doesn't, but they'll both put in all their effort and the work that they need, and we'll see who'll win in the end. College Park versus Ottawa. Ottawa Adventist School in green, College Park in blue. This match is ought to be one swell and good match. Ref throws the ball, and Ottawa has it. College Park has possession. Number one making his way down through all the defenders. I think College Park is Foul. purple. Or Looks pretty blue to blue. me. Dark blue. Navy. I'm I think College Park is blue and Ottawa is green. Yeah, you got it. Ottawa making their way down. College Park takes the ball. Goes for Ooh, two. College Park doesn't quite make doesn't it. Doesn't make the layup. It doesn't make it again. Quite a bit of a struggle there. Ottawa making their way down. And the ref blows the whistle. College Park goes for the layup and they make it. College Park two, Ottawa zero. Ottawa making their way down, trying to get a, uh, oh! College Park blocks it, number one making his way for another layup, makes it in! College Park four, Ottawa Adventist School zero. Ottawa has to step up their game if they want to be on the leaderboard right now. Well, College Park is really pushing. And College Park has possession, making their way to the goal. With the way College Park plays, the they might have an advantage right now. Making way defenders, and the ref blows the whistle. It's College Park's ball. Number three makes it in. Okay, Ottawa, the possession of the ball. College Park, six. Passes it. Oh. Ottawa, zero. Oh. College Park has the possession of the ball. Uh, 
Ottawa has the ball. Passes it. Making the way down. Trying to get through all the defenders. Number 17 has it. Passes it. And College Park has a possession. Making the way down. Number one. Passes it to 23. Get it in. Gets it in. College Park. Eight. Ottawa zero. Ottawa really. Ottawa needs to step up the game if they want to make it on the leaderboard. Ref blows the whistle. If College Park continues to play like this for the rest of the game, then they're probably going to make it. College Park's ball, 23 tries to make it, doesn't go in. It's timeout. Timeout. <laughs> Going to discuss with their team. College Park has a clear advantage here, 8-0. Both t coaches of the team talking with each other. Both teams are doing extremely well. <laughs> and time up is over, making their way back onto court. College Park has the ball. College Passes Park to number Park one. one. Passes to number two. Goes for two. Doesn't make it. College Park College has Park possession. Up. Oh, doesn't quite make it in. There's a lot going on between the two teams. Oh, number two has the ball. Makes it. Gets it in. College Park 10, Ottawa 0. College Park has the ball. Ottawa needs to step up Making their game if they want to become net. on the leaderboard right now. Again, College Park makes it into the goal. 12. Uh, Gets a free throw. Number one. Doesn't quite make it, it in. Has a second. Goes again. And Gets in. College Park 11, Ottawa 0. Ottawa really needs step up their game if they want to make it on the leaderboard right now. And it's out. Number two out. has possession College of the ball. Has the ball. Passes it. 23. It. Oh, Ooh, doesn't quite make it in though. It. And it's out. Ottawa is leading. Pass it to number one. I have a feeling number one might be Ottawa's star player. Pass it to two. Number one goes for three. Almost makes it. Ball's out. Number one has the ball again. Pass it to 23. Oh. Goes for net, doesn't make it. College Park has possession once again, and it's in! College Park 13, Ottawa 0. Ottawa has the 
has the ball, trying to get on the scoreboard right now. And College Park steals it. Number one has the ball yet again. Goes for layup. Who doesn't quite make it in though? Uh, oh, fighting for the ball right now. It's, it's out. out. College Park's ball. Number two has it. Out. College Park's ball. Pass it to number one. Dribbles through the defenders. Makes his way down. Pass it to two. Goes for three. Doesn't get it in. Ottawa has the ball. Trying to make their way down. Oh, College Park has it again. Doesn't, doesn't make, it, doesn't make it. Number one has it. Doesn't make it. A lot's going on right now. Ottawa Seems like College has Park is a free throw. It. College Park has a free throw. And Misses high. both of them. Time out. College Park has a clear advantage right now, 13-0. Will Ottawa be able to catch up? What do you think? I mean, they would need to like really try to make it to the end because they're not really making it to the net itself. I think they're getting there. It's just a matter of communication and passing sometimes. How accurate their shots are. Time up's almost over. Both teams are working out their advantages right now. I think College Park has this one. Pa College Park has been having a strong lead. So if they continue to do this for throughout the second half, then yeah, then they got this one in the bag right now. almost over. Almost time for the players to get back on court. Sorting out their issues with their coaches. Okay. I think that's time. Making their way back onto the court. New, new players coming in for Ottawa. That's the ball. College Park has possession. College Park passes it. Okay, ref with the ball. It's Ottawa's possession. Okay, Ottawa has the ball. And it's in. Ottawa two, College Park 13. Ottawa is finally getting some in. And they're on the scoreboard now. It looks like Ottawa is coming back again for another Number point. With the ball goes for three. Oh, but doesn't make, it. make it. Number one has the ball. Going through defenders. Ooh, and just like that, it's in. College Park 15, Ottawa 2. Ottawa with the ball coming up. Ooh, but it's out. And 
Ottawa has possession. Number 10 has the ball. Passes it to number eight, making his way down to the net. College Park coming in with the defense. Number eight, trying to make his way through the defenders. Passes it to number four. Four passes it to number 10. Oh, the 10 loses the ball. Scrambling for the ball, and College Park has it. it. Passes it to number 13, goes for layup, gets it in. College Park 17, Ottawa 2. Otto really needs to lock in and step up for this one now. I think Oliver's doing quite fine, Maria. Maybe just miscommunication and direction. Number one has it, going for net, makes the layup. College part 19, Ottawa 2. Ottawa has the ball, passes it to number. Ten. Number eight has it. And it's back to Ottawa. It's in. College Park 21, Ottawa 2. And timeout, perhaps. Park has a clear advantage here. Leading by oh, 19. Ottawa has switched players on the court. possession, making their way down, and College Park stole it, goes for layup, gets it in, College Park 23, Ottawa 2, Ottawa making their way down, passes it, and it's out. Number 13 has the ball, passes it back to number one. College Park coming making in. Making their way down. Number one still has possession, Ooh. passes it to 25. It. Goes for and layup. It's in, 25 to, uh, College Park 25, Ottawa two. Look at that, effortless. College Park 25, Ottawa two. Ottawa has possession, passes it, goes for three, almost makes it in. Number 10 has the ball. Number one doesn't quite make it in. Now, College Park has possession. Ottawa has possession. Number 17 goes for three, gets oh, blocked. Oh, but balls. Number one making his way down the court. Doesn't goes quite make it in. College Park has a clear advantage here. 25-2, leading by 23. Ref has the ball, and Ottawa has a free throw. So Maria, I think College Park has this one secured in the bag. These games so far, they've been leading by a lot. Every team that won, there's a big gap. Yes, it's the winning teams. Haven't seen any close matches so far. The winning teams, they're putting all their passion into this game. They're leaving it all out there. It's gonna be really, 
It's going to be really interesting when all the winning teams verse each other. Yes, it will. Maybe then they'll have like close games and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that's another timeout. Quickly discussing before they get back onto court. Number 17 making his way down under some defense right Ottawa now. Locking oh, in. in. And he made a three pointer. Ottawa gets it in. Ottawa four, College Park 25. College Park has possession. Passes it to number, number 18. Probably a little bit of a mess right here. 18 has the ball. Ref blows the whistle. Number 24 has the ball. 50 seconds on the clock. Pass it to number three. Pass, Pass it back. back. Number 28 goes to the in. shot. This will quite make it. Ottawa saves the ball. But Ottawa has possession. possession. Oh. oh! Dives for it. Quite a tumble. And, and it's out. out. Ottawa's possession. Oh. Goes for shot. Doesn't make it. College Park possession, number 23 has it, 28 has it. Passes it. Passes it. Oh, but time is out. And. Is that game? College Park. And I think that's game. College Park wins. 25, Ottawa 4. Next game will be Grandview versus Crawford East. That was, that was a game, Maria. What do you think? Although the game was not close, I could feel like both teams wanted that win. Yeah. The College Park made it on top. They both put in that equal effort, but in the end, College, College Park, Park won. Yep. Again, Grandview Grand versus Crawford East. The next team to play. I think they had some excellent players on there. One girl on each team.
Grandview versus Crawford East. Both teams warming up. Wow. More like Crawford East warming up. Grandview is still discussing with their coach. And they're making their way onto court. Both teams getting ready for the game. Okay, the game is about to start. Crawford East versus Grand White, blue and red. Grand blue, dark blue and yellow. Getting ready for the game. Coach throws the ball. And Crawford East has possession. Oh, goes for layup. Gets in. Gets in. Crawford East to Grandview zero. Grandview has possession. Pass it to number six. Number six making his way through defenders. Goes for layup. Oh, Doesn't get it in. It. Crawford East two, Grandview zero. Grandview has a free throw. Number 40 is making it. Ref gives him the ball. Doesn't get it in. Again, tries to. Doesn't, Doesn't get it in. Again. Crawford is making their way down. Passes it to number, oh, looks oh. like a little fight happening there. That Crawford makes East in. makes the layup. Crawford East four, Grandview zero. Grandview making their way down. Pass it to number six. Pass it to number 18. 26 has the ball. Trying to make his way through the defenders. Gets it in. Grandview. It didn't count. Crawford East making their, their way down. Number 16, putting in all the work. Passes it. Crawford East has possession. Going for layup. Crawford East six, Grandview zero. Grandview trying to. 26 has the ball. Ref blows the whistle. Number six has the ball. Passes it to 40. 26 goes for three. Does he make it in? Still pushing for a, a shot. Crawford is pushing down. Pass it to 12, makes the layup. Crawford East eight, Grandview zero. Look wow. at that teamwork right there. Good communication, gets the shot in. Grandview is yet to make their appearance on the scoreboard. 40, pass it to six, goes for three. Oh, it doesn't quite make it in. Crawford again. East once again pushing, number 12 has it. Doesn't make the layup. And Crawford East, 10, Grandview, 0. Very good communication from Crawford East. In the end, they get the shot in. And two points. Ref blows the whistle. And I think it's a free throw for Crawford East. Number 12 making the shot. Okay, free throw goes to Crawford East. 
shoots. Shoots. Misses. Gets another one. Number 12. Crawford E goes for it. Throws and the ball. Makes, makes it, it in. Crawford East 11. Grandview 0. Grandview Grandview's the ball. really pushing for a shot here. Passes to number 6. Gordy has it. And, and they in. make it in. Grandview 2. Crawford East 11. Do they count? Shot didn't count. Grandview zero, Crawford East 11. Grandview needs to step up their game. And, and that's, that's timeout. Crawford East has the clear advantage here. A lot happening. So all the teams, all the winning teams, have led by a lot, leaving no space for Toe-to-toe -to -toe competition. <laughs> Crawford East is very, doing very well. Good communication throughout their team. Grandview is yet to make a score though. are back on court. Time down over. Getting ready for the rest of the game. A lot happening here between both teams. I think Crawford East has this one, Maria. Number 26 has the ball, passes it to number... Oh, goes for three, doesn't make it. Crawford East has possession, making their way down. And Grandview steals the ball. Pushing to the net. Number 40. Oh, almost makes it in, but doesn't. Crawford East has the ball, makes the layup. Crawford East. 13, Grandview 0. Ooh, loses the ball. Out. And that's time. Grandview's having a very good discussion with their coaches. Looking at their advantages, trying to see how they can get a point on the scoreboard. Crawford East has a clear lead of 13. on how to make an appearance on the leaderboard. Coach is calling for the players to come back onto court. And they're making their way down. Grandview passes the ball. Number 26 has it, goes for three. Doesn't oh, make it in. 
Carpet is pushing. Oh, and takes a fall. Balls out. Lots of pressure coming in from Grandview. Or was it just a slip? Number 40 goes. Doesn't make it. Crawford East has the ball. That's time. And the ref has it. Okay, I think that's game. Between Grandview versus Crawford East. Ref is having a talk with the people in charge of the scoreboard. Crawford East is taking the opportunity to warm up, get some shots in. been a miscommunication with the score. <laughs> Nevertheless, Crawford East is making use of the opportunity. has possession and passed it to number 15. Good Goes shot. for three. That makes it in! Crawford East 16, Grandview 0. Wow. Wow. Effortless. Grandview tried their best to catch up. Goes for shot. And travel. Back to Crawford East. So again, nothing for Grandview and 18 for Crawford East. Crawford East, number 21, going for a layup. Gets it in. Crawford East 20, Grandview 0. Grandview's really pushing. Number 6 goes. Doesn't make it in. Number 15 with possession. Oh. And the ref has the ball. Seems like 26 is pushing against number 15. Ref calls foul. Crop is in possession, goes for layup, doesn't make it. Down view in possession of the ball. Coming up. Trying their best to get a point in. Foul. And the ref has the ball. Grandview has possession. Oh. 
passes it to number 40. Mickey's way towards the net. Number 26 has the ball. Crawford's coming with the defense. Grandview passing back and Goes forth. for three. Doesn't make it. Crawford East has the ball. Pushing to court. And they make the layup. Grandview two. Crawford East 20. Grandview finally makes it in. Wow. It's the backboard and goes right in the net. Number 15 goes for three, makes it in. Crawford East 23, Grandview 2. Effortless. What? Grandview still pushing to get a goal in though. Grandview still pushing to get another point. Oh, and Crawford East has possession. Grandview steals the ball. That's a turnover, trying make to get the they wait for that. Make it in. Crawford East has the ball. Number 15. Making his way down. Does he make it in? Number six goes for three. Gets it in! Grandview five! Crawford East 23. Grandview 5, Crawford East 23. Grandview is stepping up their game now. Number 15 has the ball. Pass it down. Goes for layup. Doesn't get it in. Grandview has a free throw. Number six will be making it. Three minutes on the clock. On the clock. <laughs> will Grandview be able to catch up? Shoots. Air balls. Again. Oh, Almost makes a shot. Crawford East pushing to the net. Quite a bit of a battle. Grandview has the possession of the ball now. Number 16 goes. And it's makes the layup. Grandview 7. Crawford East 23. Six. 
back. Left with the ball. Harvey East has the ball. Lots of defense coming from number six. It's out. Crawford East, 23. I think they've all been putting clock. up a, big, uh, a good fight. But Grand Crawford View. is leading. Ground view. Number six goes for Macro. Gets it in. Ground view is make, coming back. Ground view 10. Crawford East, 23. Ground view is coming back. But will it be enough? 20 more seconds on the clock. There's a defense coming from number six. Carver East passes the ball. Granby's pushing. Goes for three. Doesn't quite make it. And that's time. And that's time. Carver East wins by 13. Grandview 10, Crawford East 23. Both teams gave a good effort. And the next match will be Aces versus Peel. Loser of match one versus loser of match two. Did put up a good fight. Managed to get 10 on the scoreboard. Next match will be Heel versus Aces.
first match. Crawford and Maine came out victorious with Aces losing. Windsor won the second and Peel lost. The third one, College Park ended up defeating Ottawa. And just recently, Crawford East won over Grandview. Coming up, um, there will be losers of match one versus losers of match two. The loser of match three versus losers of match four. And then the winner of match one versus the winner of match two. What do you think so far, Maria? I think when it comes down to winning team versus the winning team, it's going to be a very interesting match. Mm -hmm. The winning teams, they've been playing so well, and they've been leaving their opponents like a huge gap. Yes, yeah, so there's been very large gaps in between each match. I think all the teams have put up an equal fight. But in the end, there can only be one winner. And we'll see what happens at 2.30. Both teams are warming up, getting ready to win. moment, Peel is warming up for its ne next match between aces. We have the drum corp in the background. Aces and Peel, it'll be getting ready to play.
Hill has possession of the ball. Pass it over. Um, number 16. Pass it to 12. Goes for a layup. Gets it in. Peel to aces zero. Aces has the ball. Making their way down. Peel coming with the defense. Oh, goes for three. Air ball. Peel two, aces zero. Oh, Peel goes for three. Doesn't get it in. Aces slowly making the way towards net. And Peel gets possession of the ball. It's out. Aces has possession. it over. Aces doing a little dribbling here and there. Passes it over. Making his way ball. down. Oh. That didn't quite work out. Peel making the way down. Passes the ball. Goes for three. Makes it in. Peel five, ace is zero. Peel's in possession. It's a long throw. This is goes for a layup. Just get it in. Four times a charm. Doesn't work out. Aces has possession, making the way down. And ref blows the whistle. Aces has possession of the ball. Passes the ball over. Making her way down. Hopefully she can get it in this time. Air ball. Peel has possession. Little scramble right there. Aces. Oh. Aces has it. Oh. 
Davis has the ball, making his way down. Doesn't shoot it. And the ref blows the whistle. Aces zero, Peel five. Peel has the ball, making their way down. Goes through the defenders. Makes the layup. Peel seven, Aces zero. Aces making their way down. A little bit of confusion here. Passes the ball. Lots of pressure from the defenders. Passes it. Loses the ball. Peel has it. Going down to the net. Slowly but surely. And it's out. Number five has it. Passes the ball down. Makes the layup. Heel nine, aces zero. Heel nine, aces zero. Aces making their way down. And Peel takes it. Number 12 loses the ball. Ref blows the whistle. Jesus has the ball. Going down. Goes for three. Doesn't make it. Peel with possession of the ball. Passes it over. Passes it. So passes it, but Ace, Ace still. takes it. And she's making her way down. Gets the ball. Having a little discussion with the players. Ace is zero, heel nine. Peel making the way down. This is a possession of the ball. Peel 11, Ace is 0. Ace shoots it. Doesn't make it. Last time out.
over. Getting ready to get back on court. Heel is leading 11-0. Aces is putting up a little fight here, but after this so is Peel. After this match will be the match between Ottawa versus Grandview. Peel's in possession of the ball. Passes it to number 12. Making his way down to the net. Gets the layup in. Heel 13, aces zero. Goes for three, doesn't make it. Trying to make an appearance on the scoreboard. Passes it over. Goes for a layup. Oh, forget it. Pio making the way down, number 12. Goes for three. Doesn't make it. Ace is going. Almost makes it in. Ref has the ball. Peel has possession. Passes over. Aces steals it. Making the way down. Shoots the ball, doesn't get it in. Oh, almost makes it in. He steals the ball. Looks the way way down. Doesn't make it. Again, he steals the ball from Peel. And she makes it in. Aces 2, Peel 13. Ace finally is on the leaderboard after that two pointer shot. Passes the ball over. Oh, passes it right to Aces. Going down. Yeah, and it's in! Aces four, heel 13. Uh, Maria, Aces is really making their comeback here. But will it be enough to make it? And 
Police timeout. Aces, six, field 13. Number 12, pass the ball, getting ready to pass it. Field passes the ball, passes it to six. Making his way down. Six coming down. Oh, it goes for pass it to nine. Aces has the ball. Really pushing. Oh. Powerful throw goes out. Pass the ball, building his way through the defenders. Aces has it. And the ref blows the whistle. Not sure who got fouled. Who's ball? Number six passes the ball to 12. Pass it down to six. Doesn't make it in. This is a this is three times the charm. It's One in. Makes it in. Not sure the it did. Peel 15, aces 6. Peel 15, aces 6. Peel has a position of the ball. Passes it. Clubs going down. Making his way down court. Going yeah, through the fenders. The Number six has it. Misses. Is it in? Three times Misses the charm. Again. Didn't work. Number 15 is on. Someone's off. Peel has a free throw. Number six is taking it. Doesn't get in. Goes for it again. He shoots it. And it's in. Peel 16, Aces 6. Aces scrambling with the ball. Trying to get another shot in. A minute 30 on the clock. Pass the ball. Peel takes it. Going down, finding his way through the defenders. Waiting for the right opportunity.
Oh, Ace is making his way down. Shoots the ball. Doesn't get it in. Point in, shoots the ball, air ball. Pass it right to Peel. Number 12 is making his way down. All right, and Bradley, we're going to begin in 30 seconds. All right, and Bradley. Up. Peel makes it in. All right, we'll be over here. Bradley, we'll be over here. All right, Bradley. Pick your five for the boys, one girl. Passes it, making the way down. And that is time. The next match is Leo oh. wins 18, yeah. aces 6. This is Grand View. Both teams are on the court getting ready for game. Match six. Making their way down, pushing through the defenders. Good ball control. Almost gets it in, doesn't quite make it. Two times a charm. Grandview two, Ottawa zero. Ottawa has the ball, making their way down. Goes for three. Doesn't quite make it. Grandview has the ball. And Ottawa takes it. Oh. oh. Misses a shot. 
So number 10 goes for three. A lot of scrambling happening. Okay, Ottawa. Grandview has the ball. Pushing and pushing and pushing. Number six making his way down. Doesn't quite make the layup. And Grandview just might take it. Number 23 has the ball, passes it to number one. Number 40. Number 40 making his way. Doesn't make the shot. Two times a charm. And he makes it. Grandview two, Ottawa zero. Grandview four, Ottawa zero. Number eight. Passes it. Oh, the grab, he steals it. And it's out. Has the ball, passes to 40. Ottawa steals it. Oh, but it goes out. out. Rambu has possession of the ball. Number 40 making his way down. Dribbling through the defenders. Does a layup. Doesn't and make it. it. So with the ball. Who has the ball? Number 10. Passes it. Number 8 has it. Oh, but Grandview takes it. Number 6. Passes it. Number 40. Layup. Makes and the layup. In. Grandview 6, Ottawa 0. Ottawa really needs to step up the game now. Or else it'll be a second loss for them. in possession of the ball. Air balls. He has it. Breath blows the whistle. Grandview has the ball, passes it. Number 26 shoots it, goes for three, but misses. And Otto has possession. Is pushing. Makes it. Ottawa zero. Ottawa zero. Ottawa is really putting up a fight here. Ottawa is once again losing. Grandview is taking, making a lead. Passes. Passes. Motion going on, and she has a ball. Doesn't make it. Ottawa gets a free throw. Oh, she gets it in. 
Ottawa 1, Grandview 8. And she gets the second one in, Ottawa 2, Grandview 8. Ottawa's finally on the leaderboard. With two points. Ball's out. And Grandview's in possession, but the ball's out. Ottawa with the ball. Tries it. Shoot. Pass it back. It. Ottawa tries to pass. Number 17 has the ball. Goes for three. Doesn't the quite make it in. Grammy's in possession. And it looks like somebody got fouled there. Both teams are working. Ottawa passes the team. ball. Doesn't make it in. Ref has the ball. Ottawa has the ball. Ottawa shoots. Doesn't get it in. Grandview has possession. Making their way down. Dribbling through the defenders. Makes it in. Grandview 10, Ottawa 2. Oh, look at that. Grandview's really pushing now. But Ottawa, Ottawa gets the ball. Position. Number 17, really dribbling his way. Fights for the ball with number two. Foul. Number six making his way down. Gets the layup, Grandview 12, Ottawa 2. Grandview's now leading by 10 points. Ottawa has a possession. Grandview is passes the ball. Grandview has a difference of 10. Almost makes it in. Blocked by number six. He's feeling pretty strong right now. Grandview has the ball. Making his way down. Going through the defenders. Number 40 goes for layup. Makes it in. Grandview 14. Ottawa 2. In. Grandview 16, Ottawa 2. And Number that's seven. time. In the end, Grandview wins. Grandview wins 16, Ottawa 2. Crawford, Maine versus Windsor. Windsor. Now this one is going to be very interesting. 
winners of match one and match two. Seems the match between Grandview and College Park has not ended yet. Ottawa with possession of the ball. Oh, they're still going. Okay. We have Ottawa. Goes for three Air balls. Air ball. You're making the way down. And it's in. Grandview with 18, Ottawa with two. Grandview has possession. Number six has the ball, making his way down through the defenders. Passes it. Someone takes a tumble. The ball is out. Pass the ball. The point does not count. Grandview with the ball. Oh, goes for three, doesn't make it. Oh. Ref has the ball. Gives it to Ottawa team. the ball. Ottawa still in possession. Loses it. Out. And he gets it in. Grand 
Grandview 21, Ottawa 2. Grandview 22. Grandview 22, Ottawa 2. Grandview with possession of the ball. Grandview has possession with the ball. Passes, Passes it. it. Air ball. Ref blows the whistle. Replace some members of the team. Uh, Ottawa has possession. Passes the ball down. Loses it. Ref calls travel. Ganview shoots it. It doesn't go in. Grandview has the position of the ball once again. Passes it. And it's in! Number two makes a three-pointer! Wow. What a shot. A big shot coming from the little guy. Be making their way down. Misses a free throw. Uh, and is out. Grandview has possession. Number one is replaced. Grandview with the ball. To the net. And it's in. Ottawa two, Grandview 27. Grandview takes the ball. Passes it. Oh, but loses it. Ottawa 2. Grandview has quite the advantage here. And a minute 30 on the clock. I think they're going to win. Ottawa has put up a good effort, has tried. But in the end, <laughs> but in the end, Grandview will take this game. Ref 
gives the ball to Grandview. And Grandview passes the ball. Grandview making their way down. Dribbling through the defenders. Number six goes for three. Almost. Almost makes it. Grandview still has possession. Still wants that shot. And the ref blows this one. 20 seconds on the clock. Ref gives the ball to Ottawa. Ottawa passes it. 24, 24. And Grammy goes for three, doesn't make it. And that's time. That is time. Hopefully, that's time. Is it time? Grandview. It is time. Grandview has wins. won with 29 points, and Ottawa, two. one versus winner of match two. The winner of match one is Crawford Main and the winner of match two is Windsor. Crawford Main and Windsor will be versing. Windsor is warming up. Main and Windsor are warming up on the court right now. Getting ready for the game. This match should be a very interesting one as both teams are really good. So YouTube Music is a music app made by YouTube. And it's like a musical sleuth so. helping you uncover unheard tracks. Even from the wonderful artists you Who do you think will win knew. this match, Maria? Give you two um, music proof. I'm really Try not sure because charge. both teams, they did really well in the previous matches. So this could be the first close game in this entire match. That's true. I'm not biased or anything, but I think Crawford has this one. I think they have this one in the bag. I mean, they have very promising players. Um, number two, good with layups for his height. Number zero, maybe a little small, but he's very good with threes. Number 12, lots of stamina. Yes. 13 is also very, very good with threes. So I think Crawford has this one. I mean, we saw Windsor play already. I think they lack proper um, communication between their teams. Sure. I think Crawford has this one. The ref throws it. And number zero has the ball. And he makes a layup. Crawford. 
Crawford, Maine, two, Windsor, zero. Okay. Told you. <laughs> okay, we have Windsor. Number zero has the ball again, goes for layup. And he makes it! Crawford, Maine, four, Windsor, zero. Windsor doesn't step up their game, they're going to lose big time. It's going to be a major gap once again. Communication. Um, that was a bad throw. So Windsor has possession of the ball right now. Windsor with the ball. Number two on defense. Passes the ball. It's oh, out. Who loses it? Oh. oh, it's not out. Number 12. He's a very fast um, player. Number zero has the ball. Kingston goes for three. Oh. He might make it. Number 12 with the ball. It's Ref out. calls. Number 12 has the ball. Passes to number two. Goes for the layup. Oh, it doesn't quite make it. Number three with the ball. Passes it. Number zero has it. Oh. oh. Goes for the layup. Oh, it doesn't make, make it. it. Wins it with the ball. Oh. Number 12 takes a tumble. <laughs> okay. Look at that. I'm not sure. I didn't really see anybody touch him. And. Windsor gets the free throw. Number 12 is taking it. Well, let's see if he makes them or not. Ref gives number 12 the ball. Number 12 shoots. It's, it's in! in! Okay. <laughs> Windsor one, Crawford four. And again? Oh, it doesn't go in. Crawford with the ball. Passes it to number two. Number 12 has it. Making his way down. Passes it. Oh, but it's out. Seems like number three is not catching the balls. Number three has the ball. Passes it. Goes for three. You can get it. Windsor with the ball again. Goes for it. Does him not make it. Okay. Talia has the ball, making her way down the court. But doesn't make the shot. Number zero with the ball. Okay. So he's going to go for three. Is he going to try and make a three pointer? Oh. And it's out. Number two, good for layup, doesn't make, make it. it. It's really crowded over here. Number zero has the ball. Passes it to Andrew. Number zero has the ball once more. Zero makes a shot. Makes a layup. And it doesn't quite count. Gives the ball to Windsor. Number 12 has the ball. Making his way down. It's number four. Lots of passing around. Windsor still has possession of the ball. Goes for three. Doesn't, Doesn't make, make it. it. Number zero has the ball. Making his way down. 
Pass. Oh, Windsor has the ball. Making their way down. Passes on to number three. Goes, goes for three. Oh, doesn't make it though. Three for three. Andrew's going down with the ball. Goes for layup. Doesn't make it. Number 12 goes. And it's in! Crawford six. Windsor one. Windsor has to step up their game if they're going to if they want to win. Look at that. Number 12 puts it in the basket. Crawford with the ball, coming up. Malachi has Top it. Top passes it to Andrew. Andrew. Oh. Andrew doesn't quite make it. <clears throat> Number two, it. passes it. Ref calls. Again, the points for Crawford Main is six, and Windsor one. Has the ball, number 12, goes for three. Doesn't Ooh, make, doesn't it. make it. Number zero coming up with the ball. Number two. Andrew has the ball, passes it to number zero. Number 12 is really putting up a fight, trying to steal the ball. Kingston has it, making his way down. Andrew has the ball. Benjamin has it. Passes it back to Andrew, and he makes the layup. Crawford eight, Windsor one. Number twelve has the ball, dribbling through the defenders. Passes the ball to number. And tries my shot. Make it in though. Counted. And so timeout. So Crawford with eight and Windsor with one. Windsor has to step up if they want to catch Crawford back. Um, bad gap just by stepping. I think Windsor can catch it easily if and they work together and communicate them. Depends on how much effort they put in. Time to get back on the court. Windsor's first on the court. Windsor has the ball. Pass Passed it. it. Number zero on defense.
another timeout. Still remains with one. Crawford, eight. And they're getting back onto court. Windsor is discussing. Maybe they'll have a little plan to get that comeback. Scott is out. Encouraging the players. And they're getting back onto court. Okay, Crawford is in possession of the ball. Passes it to number 10. Number 10 making his way down. And Windsor has possession of the ball. This will probably make it though. Okay, Windsor passes it. Number four. Oh, and he makes it. Crawford eight. Crawford eight. Windsor three. Crawford eight. Windsor three. Passes it to Clyde. Clyde making his way down. Passes it to Casario. Harmony has a ball. Number ten. Chabar has it. Pass it back oh. to Clyde. And it was a good pass, it. but just couldn't hold on. Number four. Passes it to 12. Number 12. Passes it to number four. Passes it. Oh, but it's out. Ref blows the whistle. Windsor has the ball. Passed it. And Maine still it for a second. Winter got it back. Number 12 makes a shot. Doesn't get it though. Shabar has the ball going down. And it's in! Crawford 10, Windsor 3. Making their way down. Safar has a ball. It's a little confusion right here. Lots of people lined up together. Can he make the three? Clyde has the ball. Goes for three. Oh, but doesn't quite make it. Well, Safar has the ball. Goes for three. Doesn't oh. make it. Again, possession of the ball. Pass it. Clyde goes for three. Crawford three, 
Pop it 13! Wins it three. What a shot that was. Crawford is now leading by 10. Number 10 has the ball, doesn't make the layup. Oh, Winter has the ball. Makes the layup. Windsor 5, Windsor 13. Passes it. Oh, doesn't make it. Windsor with the possession of the ball. Passes it. Passes it to number 10. And doesn't make it. Crawford now has the possession of the ball. Was a climb. Oh, doesn't quite make it in. Windsor has the possession of the ball. 12 is shot. Four. Number four has the ball. She gonna make a three. She does it. Number ten has the ball. Going down. Passed it to twenty. And refs ball. has the ball, making his way down, going to the defenders, and it's in by Crawford. Crawford 15, Windsor 5, and Crawford is once again leading by 10. Andrew has the ball, going down, Kingston has it, didn't quite make it. Wonder has the ball once again. Kingston Fighting. has the ball. Passes it to Andrew. Oh, uh, doesn't make it. Oh, doesn't make it in. Passes it back to 13. And it's in. It's in. Crawford 17. Windsor 5. Crawford is bringing, bringing the heat. Will Windsor try to make a comeback? Crawford Malachi has the ball. Out. It's a long throw. It's in! Crawford 19, Windsor 5. The Crawford fans are sure happy about this. Has the ball. And Number Benjamin stole it. Passes it. Oh, and it's out.
versus Crawford versus Windsor, 19-5. Windsor has the ball. Making their way down, trying to get through the defenders. And ref blows the whistle. Crawford's ball. The ref still has the ball. And it's Crawford's possession. Passes it. That's oh, the dream. Oh, but it's a white man get in. Windsor has the ball. Now it gets stolen. Malachi is making his way to the net. Oh, but it's a white man get in. 20 seconds on the clock. College Park versus Crawford.
the game's about to begin. Quite a bit of a scramble here. Crawford East has the ball. has a free throw. That's the first one. College Park has a free throw, doesn't make it. Practically fighting here. Number one makes a shot, doesn't get in. <laughs> Properties has a free throw, number 21 taking it. Almost made it. And then get in. Number 15 has the ball. Wow. to get between the defenders. Crawford East has the ball. 15 goes for a layup. Three times a charm. College Park has it. Crawford East has it. Didn't make a layup. College Park is going down. Number 13 has the ball. It's out. Part two. Last time out.
to get back on the court. has free throw. Makes it in. Properties three, College Park two. Still head to toe. Number three has the ball. Tried to make his way down. Lots of defenders to go through. No one has it. Going for has the ball. Making their way down. Breath, blows the whistle. Hard and East are still toe to toe. The ball. Number one has it. Goes for three and makes it! College Park five, Crawford East three. Wow, effortless. Crawford East has it and he goes down. Manages to pass it. Number 12 passes it to 21 and to 15. Goes for three, doesn't make it. Number one has the ball. Passes to number six. Doesn't make it. Goes for a layup, misses that too. Number 15 passes it. Goes for three. Number one has the ball once again. Number 23 shoots it. Almost gets an in. And it's out. College Park 5, Crawford East 3. The ball, number 23 has it, shoots it, doesn't make it. Crawford is scrambling to get it shot in. It's out. College Park has possession. Number one has it, shoots the ball. College Park 8, Crawford East 3. A lot of threes are coming from number 1. And College Park is in the lead. Timeout.
interesting match so far. step up their game, they might just lose this one. College Park might just have an advantage. I think number one on College Park's team is a very good score. Um, Scott Hannah is a team of six points from Purity. Crawford needs to try shooting more threes if they want to. Ready to go. Number one passes the ball. And it's back to one.
15 has the ball, making his way down court. Number 21 has it. Trying to make his way around the defenders. Took a tumble. College Park's ball. Passes number two. Goes the whistle. He calls the travel. Yeah, pass the ball. And that's time out. East came from behind to in front. Three minutes, 25 seconds on the clock. Robert East has possession. Number 15 is making his way down. And it's in by Crawford East. Crawford East 15, College Park 11. College Park is making their way. Crawford East has the ball. Ref goes whistle.
throw for Crawford East, number 21. Doesn't make it. A ritual. Number 21 does not make it. And number one takes a fall. And the match is over. And that's time. Crawford East wins 18, College Park 13. Park did put up a big fight, so did Crawford East. In the end, Crawford East won. College Park did their best. They were leading out at the star, but in the end, Crawford East took the win.
both teams are on court warming up. They're ready for their game. What do you think about this one, Maria? Um, I think Ottawa has this one, personally. Aces is a good team, but I think they lack communication. Ottawa has that. They just lack direction. You know? Yeah. Ottawa, Ottawa's not a bad team. Versus Ottawa. Match has begun. Ottawa has possession. Pretty bad pass. Aces now has the ball. Number 10 with the defense. Was trying to make a shot in, doesn't quite get it. Aces is now making his way down. Oh, but Ottawa steals the ball, passes it, and it's out. Ottawa almost made the shot. There's a lot happening here. Ottawa's making his way down. Number 17 passes the ball, goes for three. Oh, Almost oh, makes it in. Made it. Aces has the ball. Right now, neither team has a point. And it's out. Ottawa goes for the layup, doesn't make it. Aces has the ball now. Ottawa stole it. Very it's off out. target. Air ball land out. Aces has the ball, making their way down. Ottawa steals it. Trying her best to redirect it. Takes a fall. Looks like she's hurt herself there. Seems like she has injured herself. the team's back. Ottawa's in possession of the ball. Number two is having quite a little fight with the defender. Ottawa is number 17. Doesn't make the shot. Aces have the 
have the ball. And oh, and it's out. It's out. And Ottawa makes the shot. Ottawa two, aces zero. Ottawa's trying to go for a second. Makes the shot. Ottawa four, aces zero. Seems like Ottawa is about to win this one. I mean, at the rate they're going, I wouldn't be surprised. Aces has the ball. Passes and that's it. that's out. Pretty far pass. And again. Ottawa, Ottawa makes a shot. Ottawa six, aces zero. Aces has the ball. Lots of defenders on her. And it's out. Aces has possession. Ottawa has possession. The ref gives Ottawa the ball. Close to so. Seems to have been a miscommunication. And Aces subs. Ottawa has the ball. Number five making his way down to the net. Number five passes. Ooh! Aces steals the ball. Ace gets a hold of the ball. Passes it. Aces has the ball. Making their way down to the net. Lots of defenders on him. Oh, and Ottawa steals the ball. Goes for it. And it's in. Ottawa eight, aces zero. Ottawa with the ball, passes it to number four. Passes it number to number five. Shoots it, but doesn't quite make it. Graf blows the whistle.
Aces has the ball, making their way down. And ball's up. Ref gets the ball. Ottawa passes the ball to number eight, making his way down. Number eight. Long pass. Oh, but and pass was dropped. Ref blows the whistle. Ace passes the ball. But Ottawa takes it. Tries to pass it, but Ace intercepts. The Aces passes the ball. with the ball. Passes it. Ace catches the ball. But time. In the end, the points are Ace 0, Ottawa 8. with the ball. Again, Aces are uh, Aces versus Ottawa. Aces zero, Ottawa eight. are fighting for the ball. Ottawa has it though. 17 going for the shoot. Oh. Ref calls travel. Ace with the ball. Oh, but he falls. Ace with the ball. Ace goes for it. Oh, but it doesn't quite get in.
And Ottawa has it. Ace has the ball. And it's out. Ref gives the ball to Ace, and Ace passes it. Ottawa's trying to steal the ball. And they are managed to successfully managed to take the ball. But Ref calls. Ace and Ottawa are fighting for the ball. Ottawa has the ball. Oh, but Ace steals it. Ref blows the whistle. Ace passes the ball. But he comes out. Ottawa's blocking. Okay, so he throws the ball. Ottawa gains it. Ottawa making their way down. And, and it's in! Ottawa 12, Aces 0. Aces will need a big comeback to get this one. Ref gets the ball and gives it to Ace. Six minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. Ottawa has the ball, making their way down. Oh, Ottawa quite. Ottawa tries again. Still doesn't make it. Ace with the ball, coming up. Passes it. And. Make his way around the defenders. Almost in. And Ruffles whistle. And that's time out. the timeout. Ottawa is leading by 12 points. Ace is zero. Ottawa has the ball. It's out. Ottawa making their way 
down. Goes for the layup and it's in. Ottawa 14, Aces 0. Aces has possession of the ball. Slowly but surely, dribbling her way to the net. Trying to get through all the defenders. Ottawa steals the ball. Doesn't make it though. Tries again. And it's in. Ottawa 16. Aces 0. Aces with the ball coming down. Passes it. Long throw. Aces has the ball. It's in! Aces, two, Ottawa, 16. Finally, Aces are finally on the leaderboard. Uh, the scoreboard. Ottawa passes the ball. Number Good eight. Shot. Doesn't make it. Number eight. And, and it's in. in. Ottawa, 18. Aces, two. Aces, oh, out. <laughs> Ref blows the whistle. Ball goes to him. Gets it. Oh, but doesn't air ball. Coming with the ball. And break. Aces with the ball. Aces has the ball. Making her way to the net. Passes the ball. Aces gonna make her way around the defenders. Doesn't quite make it. Ottawa with the ball. Coming up. Tries to shoot it. Oh. And quite that is game. Ottawa wins 18. Aces 2.
constantly overwhelmed with your workload? Grandview warming up for their next game. This is Mr. Ray, reporting for the last three games of our first ever 7th-day Adventist tournament between middle schoolers. I'm here with Daniel Cooper, a grade 9 student at Crawford. Daniel, what have you thought about the quality of basketball you've seen today? 
have played really good, but some trials and tribulations. Some trials and tribulations today. They could have played a lot better, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. It's the first one. Of course. Uh, do you know, watching events like this make you wish that you were able to do this last year in, when you were in grade 8? Yes. How do you think you would have done in a tournament like this? In the most humble way, averaging 80 points a game in a <laughs> tournament like this. I wouldn't be surprised. Right now, for our fifth and sixth place matchup, it is Peel versus Grandview. This is the matchup between the two winners of the loser bracket. Daniel, have you seen these pl uh, teams play yet? No, not really, but to be honest, I have purple. They should have the advantage size-wise. For those of you who are watching with us, purple is the Peel team. Blue is Grandview. Getting into the action now. Grand News for their first two points. Peel inbounds the ball. Oh! Almost a Grand Theft Eldorado from Grandview. 2 0 for Grandview. Oh, 4 0 for Grandview. Oh, he's on a fast break. A steal by Grandview. And Lay up. a bucket. We'll take a look at that replay. Great steal by Grandview to steal this ball and a wonderful finish at the basket. Heel inbounds. I think Grandview is man to man on their defense. Ball swings to the other side and a three point attempt. Rebounded by Grandview. Grandview is now dribbling the ball up with a layup. Where is Peel's interior defense? 8-0 for Grandview. Grandview. Another steal by Grandview and a layup. Unfortunately a miss, but he grabs his own rebound. Kicks out to the three-point line. Thinks about taking a shot. Finds a pass. Oh, Drives down floater. the lane. Okay. Two point floater from Grandview. Now 10 8. Daniel, I thought you had Peel. What's happening to your purple team? What do you think they could be doing better? I feel like they could just make the big man get further in the post mm -hmm. and go up every single time. This post player keeps taking the ball at the perimeter and it keeps getting stolen. That's another steal for Grandview and another layup. 12 2. Zero for Grandview. Grandview starting to run away with it. Big guy gets a, sets a screen, swings the ball around. Another screen as the ball drives to the middle. He finds him in the post. Oh, at least he gets a shot attempt off a this good time. Shot attempt. Grandview's rebounded the ball and they catch it at the top of the key. Beyond the back dribble, trying to cross his man, but his man stays. He finds an open three-pointer. Oh, Air ball. That's off. Out of bounds. Who did that ball go to, Daniel? Went to the other team. For those of you watching, this is a running time game. Notice that when the clock the clock keeps going even though the whistle has stopped the ball. Games are 12 minute running halves. Okay, Peel inbounds the ball. An open lane. And another steal by Grandview. And a floater. Daniel, what do you think Peel can be doing better to defend these types of attacks from Grandview? Honestly, just running back on defense. That's all they need to do. Mm -hmm. Picking up someone early, getting in front of your man. Kind of how Grandview's defending the ball right now. Look at that, another um, steal. 14-0. P 
Peel's got to do a better job getting back. Oh, oh. behind the back pass into an open shot off the glass. Oh. Rebounded by Peel. Now Peel with an open lane. Oh, what a pass thrown away to Grandview with another steal. Oh, a layup, but a block. There they did it. They probably heard you. They got back on defense that time. They just need to work on the ball movement. Mm -hmm. As well as finding their players inside the post. Look, there's an open person. Pass that in. It's a layup. Take that shot. Oh, good try. A much better attempt from Peel this time around. Open shot this time. We have a whistle on the floor. That's a replay of the last shot. Unfortunately missed, and then we have a whistle blown. I believe they're calling a foul. Play on the floor is a foul by Grandview. Peel to inbound the ball because the foul was off the ball before the shot was up. Good find inside, and a layup. Peel gets its first two points. Grandview dribbles the ball up slowly. We'd like to welcome Callum Wright to the cast. Callum, could you say something on the mic? How's everybody doing? This is a very great game we're watching here. Very excited for the winner. Callum, what have you thought about the quality of basketball we've seen these past two games? The past two games have been very tremendous, you know? Very hard fought games, but everybody's trying to get into the groove of things. I like how they mixed it up, boys and girls. So it's very well, you know, very competitive. That was well said. Thank you, Callum, for the positive words. I'm sure if the middle schoolers could hear how much you appreciate their efforts, they would feel appreciated. Thank well you, done. Thank you. Peel inbounds the ball. Ball is on the wing. Takes a shot over two people. Very interesting shot. <laughs> Grandview with the rebound. Off the backboard. He has a lane into the post. And a layup. That looked like a foul. No call on the floor. Let's give you a replay of that shot one more time. A layup with no jump over two defenders. That is a crazy shot right there. Peel swinging the ball around. Another steal by Grandview, but a reaching foul called by the referees. Uh, the referees have to let them play a little bit. Grandview to inbound the ball. That looked like a line violation. The ref's giving them another chance in the spirit of the game. 1.51 remaining in our first half. Oh, crossover into a three-pointer. What an interesting shot. He could have had that. Rebounded by Grandview. Oh, a three-pointer. Oh my gosh. High-level basketball they're playing today. Grandview with their first three of the game. The score currently 19 to two. Grandview just steal. has the fundamentals down today. Mm -hmm. I like how they're finding opportunities on offense and not giving the ball away on defense. Peel right now in a good offensive set. Two rebounds, Go multiple with chances. It. What a good shot. Almost a shot. Oh. oh, but a foul on Grandview. Our first shooting foul of the game. Peel's going to get two free throws from the line. Did you think that was a clean block, Daniel? I saw a little bit of arm ball. Eh. The ref doing a good job of calling the play as it is. <laughs> Daniel's having a good time here in the booth. Peel with the free throw. Unfortunately a miss, but straight on shot, good attempt. They'll get a second chance from the line. Today Daniel, how can they be shooting free throws better? What do you think? Mm, maybe not rushing it as much, taking their time. This one, off the back left iron, rebounded by Grandview, long pass to the end. Almost a cherry pick three. Oh, he drops the ball. Oh, That's a turnover by Grandview. Here we have William, our best defender on the high school boys team. Would you like to say something? Um, you know, go Crawford, go Crawford. We're glad that our high school students are sending appreciation for the home team, even though they're not playing yet.
That is the end of our first half. The current score is Grandview 19. What a wonderful Heal the play. two. What a wonderful play. Um, that was so great. Hope you enjoyed that first half. Daniel, what do you think both of our teams can be doing better moving forward? Grandview really has the favorite right now for me. Mm -hmm. They're playing defense, proper offense with that. Peel, on the other hand, they could maybe get back on defense, push the ball, move it around, things like that. I really like your idea of getting these big guys into the post a bit more. It's very clear that Peel has size on Grandview. And if they're able to find good po post plays so that they can make layups over a shorter team, they can start to rack up some points. If they just work on that a little bit, they have it. Peel's already on the floor warming up. Grandview's still in their conversation about what they can do in the second half. Again, this is the loser bracket finals for fifth and sixth place. The winner of this game gets fifth overall in the tournament and the loser goes home with six. for commentating in the booth for the first nine matches. They did a great job. Let's cut back into the action. Me and whoever wants to call. Okay. Yes, this is on YouTube. Please continue to support the Crawford live stream. You can find us by going to Crawford Events Academy and searching on YouTube for the live stream. We're streaming live. This is sponsored by Elementary Athletics. Elementary Athletics here at Crawford making Volleyball and basketball, a possibility for young people. Oh, a good find. Into the action. Peel gets a play inside. The exact, the exact advice that we wanted to see from them. Oh, but Grandview with a running layup after a miss by Peel. Grandview now with 21 points and 19 ahead. Peel inbounds the ball. As they're getting it over the half court, there's pressure by Grandview to steal. Oh, someone's got to help her out. Find a clean pass there. That is a travel. Very good defense. Grandview with a swing to the other side for a layup undefended. Whoever their coach is is just amazing. Grandview looking like a well-coached team here at this junior high level. Doing very fundamental things to score their points. Open steals, finding lanes, finding good passes for layups. Peel swings the ball around, but the pass was defended. Stolen by Grandview again. And another layup. Wow. This is looking like a crazy blowout. Grandview starting to run away with it. 25 to 2. Peel with the ball on the inside, finds a pass to the dumper spot, but unfortunately a foul by Grandview. We're gonna get a ball stoppage and Peel's gonna inbound from the baseline. Subs entering the game for both Grandview and for Peel. Whoever he was, Nijon, when he made that shot, the gym went wild. A steal by Grandview as they dribble up. No one back on defense. A layup once again for Grandview, and we're at 27 to 2. Let's take a look at that replay. Just running back is what we need. Layup down the line. Peel dribbles the ball up as they cross half court. Once again, pressure from Grandview to steal. Two on the ball. 
There's an open pass somewhere. They just got to find it. A pass into the key. Oh, but oh, he's oh, fighting for stolen it. Stolen back. Grandview with the steal. Oh, head man the ball. Up. And a good pass good to the line. Oh, what oh, a missed layup. Grandview with the rebound. Almost. He stepped out of bounds. That is why they're up that type of hustle. Mm -hmm. Everyone running down trying to get open layups on the fast break. Grandview is really showing what it takes to score at this level of basketball. Another substitution on the floor for Peel. Peel to inbound the ball. And dribble back up. We have six minutes remaining in our fifth and sixth place matchup. Grandview currently at 27. Peel with two points. A steal by oh, the short one. <laughs> Finding a pass, but stolen back by Peel. Grandview with the steal back. Oh. Runs out to the three point, swings, and unfortunately, an air ball that goes out of bounds. Do you think Grandview should be taking these shots from the perimeter with the success they found inside, Daniel? What do you think? Could you repeat that for me? Do you think Grandview should still be taking these long threes even though they've only found sex success inside the paint? Grandview with another steal. Let's see if they pull up from three. To Lay up into the bottom of the basket. Peel with the rebound and then a foul by Grandview. To answer your question, honestly, I feel like they should just have fun. They're up by a lot. <laughs> they are up by a lot. So you don't mind if you're up 25 points to be chucking from the perimeter? Me, I like getting the point differential like up there. So I'd keep doing what was working all game. Um, I really think a women from um, number two is necessary for this one. Like if you hit a three point or give me back. Just... That's William, one of our centers on our Omega basketball <laughs> team, giving advice to the junior high players. You can really scramble tell. scramble in the half court for the ball. You oh. can really tell. Number two has heart. He is playing with hustle. Grandview with a pass to the weak side and a shot off the backboard, but unfortunately a missed peel with the rebound. Looking down for a pass, but you have to be mindful of the defense. Oh, that is a double dribble. That, you, I mean, they are in middle school. You have to let some things go. In the spirit of the game, the ref is allowing the girls to play it out. Oh, a pump fake. But a steal by Grandview. Once again, a lane with no one back on defense. Unfortunately, a miss, but a second chance. Great offensive rebound by Grandview to get another layup. Let's take Wonderful a look at that layup. replay. Even though the first layup was a miss because the rest of the offensive players were able to get back down. Mm. They were able to get a second chance to score. Oh, a hard foul. Peel falling out of bounds. Nothing Let's easy. Let's take a look at that replay. I'm not sure if she fell and got pushed or tripped. But it's good that it's okay. It's good Great it's hustle okay. by Peel to try to get into a corner so that we can get a cut from the slot. But yep, yep. unfortunately, a turnover that was dropped into the out of bounds area. Three minutes remaining for our fifth and sixth place match. Grandview currently at 27, Peel with a solid two points. A comeback is still possible, you know, once you, want, once you put hard work. Please stop taking my mic. With two minutes and 40 seconds running time and an inability to stop the clock, it will be very difficult for Peel to come back. Oh. Grandview with a three. Oh! And it wow. goes in! Our second three-pointer of the game. Let's take a look at that replay. Behind the back crossover into a shot with no defenders and bouncing off the back iron and in. 
What a great three-pointer. Grandview with another steal. Unfortunately, PL keeps a little bit out of control. Maybe a bit of feedback for Peel. Dribbling the ball high allows these shorter players to get in there and steal the ball. Dribble controlled in low and use your body to protect the ball so I that agree. these steals aren't possible. Right here, Grandview's doing a great job of showing how to use your shoulder to protect oh. the ball. Good shot oh, two, oh. number two, oh. off the oh. front iron. Oh. Peel with the rebound and a potential lane. Looking to convert. Looking for a layup. Oh, Close, but a convert. second chance. And two more points for Peel. Good, good, bad, good, good, bad. Let's take a look at this replay. Good, good, Peel does a great job following up this attack, getting that offensive rebound and getting that ball in the basket. Four very more, well, well four done. points now for Peel. Very well done, very well done. Let's take a look at that play that we just missed. A reaching foul by Peel on Grandview's arm. Oh, not a reaching foul. Grandview called for a travel. One minute to go. Peel looking for something on the right side corner. Dribble finds the person inside for a layup. There it is. This is what they needed all game. I'm Beautiful happy to see that they're doing this. There. Finding this interior player with size, undefended by anyone, making a layup. Easy basketball when executed well. Peel with a great two points there. Very unadvised shot. <laughs> Off the top of the backboard with Peel and rebound. Gets it back. Finds the big man. Big man inside once again. Finds Good someone pass. else. Wow. This is what we want. I am happy to see. Peel with two plays in a row. Great offense. And wishing that we got a bit more of that earlier on in the game. Five seconds to go. Grandview's going to dribble it out. One second, and that oh. is our shot to end the game. Wow. Grandview. Very good game. Very, very good game. Congratulations, Grandview, for winning the loser's bracket and finishing our tournament with fifth place. Peel deserves some commendation for the offense at the end of the game. Four straight points with good offense set up. We'd like to thank Daniel for being on our cast. Daniel, do you have any last words for our viewers on the stream? I'm just happy to see that we are evolving as a country and as a religion in basketball. Thank you. A lot of appreciation from Daniel Cooper, one of our grade nine students for the improvement of the basketball program here at Crawford and among Seventh-day Adventist schools. It's been a long time since we've ever done, or I, this might be the first time we've ever done a Seventh-day Adventist basketball tournament with our middle school teams. Oh, it hasn't been happening for a while. Oh, it hasn't? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, Let's give it up for our assistant director, Mr. Ambrose. Mr. Ambrose, who did a lot of work coordinating with the athletic departments for all of these schools yep, and bringing yep. them together. A lot of time and effort put into this, a lot of time and effort. We'd like to welcome William, oh, William to the cast. Yep, 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 welcome. William up. is one of the centers for our Omega Basketball High School team. Yep, yep. Bam. William, our current team's playing our, who's playing next for our third and fourth place matchup, College Park and Windsor. Wow, what, 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 what place is that for? What place is that for? College Park and Windsor are playing for third place. Oh, okay, okay. In okay. our tournament today. So top three, top three. Okay, that's, that's very nice. This one then. Then finals. Let them see. There's two halves. Yeah, you do one, you do one, and he does one. No, wait. That's because of the time crunch, unfortunately, there isn't much time to warm up. William, were you watching the games from before? Do you have anything to say about either of these teams, College Park and Windsor? Um, no, really and truly, I do not know what College Park is. But I heard there's a very tiny, um, I don't know, a short, medium-sized guy that's very good. Okay. You know, very good, very good. I heard he dropped mul multiple points so far, like, you know, before I came here. But based on what I heard, I know I heard there's a star player on that team. Callum. Get them to put the live stream on the on the TV or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mrs. Gamez. 
Miss Gamez or Mr. Boyce? And then tell the classroom to support the live stream. We need likes, we need likes. Our game is about to start. We have College Park in blue and Windsor in red. Yo, number yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I heard it. I heard he's very tough, you know. Let's we're about to get some input from our starting point guard for our Omega basketball team, Nigel, and he has a bit to say about who are you talking about, Windsor or College Park? Uh, College Park number one. Now, while he was playing last game, I was giving him some um advice on what to do with his team, because I seen him he was getting frustrated that his team wasn't catching the ball and stuff, so I gave him a little pep talk. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm gonna see how he does this game. If yeah, he doesn't people. if he doesn't do good this game, I'm a I'm going to give him another pep talk. <laughs> a lot of positive words from our starting point guard for our Omega team for the point guard of College Park's team. Yep, he was actually the guy I was talking about. You know, I heard he dropped multiple points, and he was actually playing very good. Very good team player. Live stream That's viewers, look out for number one in blue from College Park yep. as the person to watch from our casting desk. Yep, yep, yep. But, how, but like, the red team is also being good, too. Like the, the, um, the young lady right there, she's mm -hmm. been like, you know, getting rebounds. and The one in the white headband? Yep, getting rebounds, um, passing. I don't really know much about basketball, but she sees to me that she's doing pretty good, you know. Our <laughs> starting, uh, one of our centers, uh, William, showing a lot of love and appreciation for the white headband girl on Windsor. Our game has begun. Windsor wins the tip. Looks to find a player in the corner, but tipped away and out by College Park. Windsor will get the inbound from the side. Yep. We'll see which team is able to drop our first offense of the game. Yep, yep. Number four, the ball in the post One passes shot. to the elbow. Almost, Unfortunately, almost, almost. a miss and a rebound by College Park. Looking for their point guard. Point guard to dribble up the ball. Windsor is in a full court press, Ooh. man to man. Big crossover. Dribbles to the elbow, passes to the other side. A miss by College Park, rebounded by Windsor. Windsor with a fast break opportunity. And a foul reaching mm. by College Park. We'd like to welcome Shalem from, what grade are you? Shalem. Grade one to the desk. Shalem, have you been able to watch any of the games today? Yeah. Yes, what have you thought about these teams, Windsor and College Park? College Park. You think College Park's gonna take the win? Yeah. Thanks for the input. We'd like to thank Shalem for giving Shalem? us some commentary from the grade one class. Shalem, from the grade one class. Because of the foul on the drive in the fast break, Windsor is taking two free throws. Okay, okay, okay. You just need to calm and steady, calm and steady. Don't First rush. free throw, unfortunately a miss. William, what do you think our free throw shooter can be doing better to make these in? Yeah, no rushing. You know, just take your time and, you know, just bend the knees a little bit, bend the knees a little bit more. You Shooting know, one from the time. knees, Windsor is able to make the second free throw. Windsor with the first points of the game. One nothing. Yep, Windsor. Yep. This is College Park zero. Whoa. Oh! Big drive down the lane oh, and a, a whistle from the ref. I, I told you, I told you to keep his keep your eyes on him, you know? I believe that's a shooting foul on Windsor. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, College Park with two free throws. Hey, you see someone wipe there? You see someone do that in basketball? You know they better go off. Windsor, one zero. Does this? Does this? Uh, Does this? Sadly, he's not a great free throw shooter. So how much free throw did they get? Two? Two free throws. Unfortunately, College Park has missed the first one. Okay, Here's okay. Here's taking the second. Ball is live off the shot. What a... Wow. Makes the first one and ties the game. College Park, 1-2-1. One, one. Yeah, that, that was a good shot. That was a good shot, man. Windsor dribbling the ball up. Swings to the left side. Back to the top. Pressure defense oh. from College Park. Oh! oh. Backcourt violation by Windsor. Great defensive pressure from College Park to yeah. force that ball backwards. Yeah, very, very good, very good, very good. That's very good. College Park looking to inbound the ball now. Mm. Number one finds a pass inside, Ooh. but stolen by number oh. four. Great defense there. Number four dribbles the ball up. Oh, unfortunately drops the ball, and number one gets a steal. Looking to drive. What Great a layup. take by number what one a in the layup. What a layup. What a layup. So much talent in this room. So much talent. College Look Park is now Look two points ahead. Three to one for College Park. 
Windsor with the ball on the right side, dribbles, but a reaching foul. Or he stepped out of bounds. Oh, okay, okay. A okay. turnover, unfortunately, by Windsor. College Park's ball. Six minutes remaining in our first half of the game. College Park finds a long inbound. Wow. No one back on defense. A layup inside. Yeah, yeah. Two points for College Park. Great find. Great find. That was by I TJ. Would. Let's take a look back at that replay. I would not find that. <laughs> he was able to look down court and find someone open in the lane. Uh, yeah, I would not find that. Oh, what a layup. Back to the what play. A what a layup. College Park has got a steal and made a layup. Wow. College Park now 7-1, to one, and a foul by College Park. A bit too much defensive pressure there. Good sportsmanship, good sportsmanship. You know, help the man out. Number one picks up number... I'm not sure. Red yeah. in the yellow shirt. Yellow shirt Windsor to inbound shirt. the ball. Windsor looking for a far pass, but stolen, oh, stolen by College stolen. Park. Great prediction there. Number one corrals the ball and dribbles down the right side. Mm. Mm. Yep. Defensive yep. pressure, but he's Ooh. able to get out of a double team. Looks to roll the ball to the dunker spot. 23 with a shot. Unfortunately, an air ball rebounded by Windsor. Fast Windsor break, now fast dribbling break. down the right side. Finds a pass at the top of the key. A dribble, but a foul by College Park. This one is on the floor, not yet a shooting foul. We're going to get an inbound from the right side. What do you think Windsor can be doing better, William? Windsor, the red team. Red team, yes. How can they find more points? Red team, I feel like they need to um, go more on defensive wise. Mm -hmm. Like right now, you're like standing in the stationary area and they're putting their arm out to get a um, reach and foul and all the stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So I believe they should like move their foot a little bit more, you know, on their toes all the time and just be ready for the ball when it's coming. You're good. Being a bit more careful on defense. On offense, maybe. Being more careful with their passes so that we don't get wild turnovers like this. And then finding plays inside. A pass inside, what? but a bit high. I, I and thought unfortunately, a ball. turnover by Windsor. College Park to inbound the ball. Good defensive pressure here, but no one can keep up with number one. Too pass good. to the right side on the wing. Looking for a shot. A block by number four. What a block. What a block. Windsor brings that ball in, and they're looking down. The ref sets a screen on College Park. Number four takes a shot oh. off the side of the rim. College Park with a rebound. Almost, almost, almost. College Park now dribbling down the right side. Finds a place into the middle. A steal by Windsor. Windsor now with the ball at the top of the key. Finds number four at the three-point line. Passes to the left. A three-point nice shot. shot oh, and the make glass. it. And we make it. And Windsor with it. a three-pointer. Seven to four. Windsor starting a comeback. Good shot, good shot, good shot. Time out by College Park. Good shot. That was a good shot, man. I'm getting it later, bro. We'd like to welcome Callum Wright to the desk, and we'd like to thank William for his time here. William, do you have any last words for our viewers? Um, you know, go Crawford. You know, Crawford. Go Crawford. Go Crawford. More support for the home team. Callum Wright is one of our grade 12 students. He was the captain of our Omega basketball team. We'd like to welcome Callum to the desk. How y'all doing? How you doing? How you doing? Callum, what have you thought of this game so far? This game, it's a bit slow to start, but I think everyone's doing well. It's a bit hard to find your groove, especially coming to a new school, you know, not being able to. But I think they're doing pretty well to start. Mm -hmm. Callum, speaking from experience of three years, three years playing on the Omega basketball team here at Crawford Adventist Academy. Last one. We're going to drop back into the action. We are out of a timeout from College Park. Let's see if they've drawn anything up or changed the way they're going to do offense. Windsor is still pressing the point guard. Full court press from everyone. Everyone is picking up a man in the full court. Great screen to get open. A pass into the left side. Deflected by Windsor, but picked up again by number one. Almost a dribble shot. A pass to the top of the circle, back to the weak side, saved by number one. Back to the top of the key, but not in control. Windsor gets a steal. 
I think there they wanted to pick up number one, stop him, shut him down. He's doing very well this game. After he just got a steal, driving to the bucket. Left hand lay. Oh, oh. Close finish there by College Park. He dribbles it and drops it out of bounds. What do you think he can do to stay a bit more controlled and not drop that ball so much? You know, I think it's all about movement. You have to move the ball, you know, create opportunities for everybody because then when you get the opportunity yourself, it'll... You know, Windsor, unfortunately, with the turnover. He dropped the ball off his leg and it rolled out of bounds. College Park with the inbound. Full court press still going by Windsor. Number one's able to break out of it and find a pass to the weak side. A shot. Unfortunately, a miss by Windsor. He controls that rebound, finds the head man. Not a double dribble there. Okay, shot attempt. What did you think of that sequence, Callum? Uh, that sequence was a bit wild, you know? Shot went up over the backboards. Just a lot of, a lot of rushing going on. Windsor's able to steal the ball, get two shot attempts. Great offensive rebounding from Windsor to get second chance points. Another layup attempt unfortunately doesn't go down. College Park's able to corral that ball and start to look for plays. Number one pushing it down the court. A wild pass into the middle. Intercepted. Two passes away from Windsor. And Windsor with a great defensive effort. Unfortunately, that's our first half. Windsor wasn't able to get a playoff. Current score is 7-2-4, College Park. Very low scoring first half, but we're going to see how they do in the second. Let what do you think both of these teams can be doing better, Callum Wright? I think they all need to move the ball. You know, everybody, everybody can get open. There's not much they can do in a crowded situation. All they have to do, move around, get opportunities for everybody. You know, everybody, let everybody get a touch. I agree. I think keeping that ball under control and making good decisions with the ball. Absolutely, is absolutely. Especially at this level of basketball. Absolutely. Without most teams having defensive teams aside from picking up their man, mm. it's so important to move when you don't have the ball, find your open space, right, and take those open shots. All opportunities are created by movement, and once we see that, there will be more shot opportunities. Here we are on the live stream. This is who we are. I'm Mr. Ray. This is... I'm Callum Ray. How y'all doing? We'd like to give a shout out for Manny, the head director of the stream. That is our one minute break. Again, if you haven't been watching the games, games are 10 minutes running time. Timeouts, whistles, do not stop the game because we are on a tight schedule here at Crawford Events Academy. We're trying to finish before 315 so that we can give awards to all of these players and teams. I think they're coming back on the floor now. Second half beginning soon. Windsor with four points right now. College Park with seven. We're going to look for more scoring this second half and we're going to see if these teams change it up a little in terms of how they're finding their offense. Inbound by number one. College Park throws the ball at Windsor's <laughs> legs. They no get one another chance to inbound the ball. The time has not started because the ball has not officially entered play. Looking ball is now bounced. Wow, right great out. pressure from Windsor to deny that ball from entering the court. Let's see if Windsor can turn this around and start winning the game. Windsor now to inbound the ball. They're setting up in a line, but they find a pass into the middle. Stolen by College Park. Great grab, but Deflected the back. Pass. Windsor with the ball again. Tries to find someone in the post, but again, thrown Dope. away. Now you see, they're doing a lot of movement if they took their time a little bit. Pass the ball, find an open man. I think they could really turn this game around. College Park now to inbound the ball. This full court, pressure, full court pressure from Windsor is really giving College Park a, a bit of trouble. and Force them to turn the ball over. 
great pressure from Windsor to Absolutely great continue pressure. Continue to deny offensive opportunities to College Park. Let's see if they can turn this around by taking their time and moving the ball. A dribble to the basket, a nice pass, and oh, a two-point bucket. Oh, the glass. Great find for the open man. College seven, Windsor six. Windsor doing a great job this second half to deny offensive chances to College Park. College Park is having a hard time to inbound the ball. Pressing the ball, trying to get that eight second count. Number one dribbling down the right side, finds a lane in the middle, goes for a layup, misses, and Windsor grabs a rebound. Windsor number six, what a pass. through the yellow shirt on the side. Unfortunately, a miss this time, wasn't able to make this shot. Number one trying to slow it down, getting pressured. Windsor doing a great job with this full court press. Great pass. Three point shot. Right side, almost in. Windsor with a rebound. Dribbling the ball down, passing it to their players, moving around. Windsor number seven with the ball on the right side. Behind the back move into a pass at the top of the three and point And the three line. point shots. Oh, almost. Windsor would have taken the lead with that shot, but it didn't go down. College Park is able to get that rebound. Oh, dribbling through pressure. Finds a pass, the pass to the paint, oh. but it goes over. Turnover. A lot of defensive pressure from Windsor this second half to keep those opportunities from happening for College Park. Little confusion here. A substitution was desired by College Park, and the referee wasn't able to stop the ball. The subs are able to come in now. Windsor will have possession. Oh, College Park has called a timeout. Timeout College Park. I think they've got a lot to figure out in terms of what they can be doing better to score on offense. Absolutely. What do you think is one tip you'd give this College Park team to find better chances on offense, Calum? They, they honestly just have to spread out, keep moving around. Once you stop moving, it makes it hard for another person to get you the ball. So if they keep moving, number one's doing a great job trying to find people. They keep moving around. They'll get the open look and hopefully the open bucket. I'd really like to see someone set a screen for number one when he's defended. Absolutely. If he's able to receive a screen and get some daylight, maybe he finds a lane or even a pass into the inside to one of these girls, and we get a layup. Windsor with the ball. Their point guard dribbles up the right side, passes back to the girl, passes it back to the yellow shirt. Needs to get this ball across the half court before it's a violation. Pass to the right side. Drives, slot, to the lane. drives down the lane. Pass it back out. Deflected by College Park. Great hustle for the ball and a layup. Two points. That's College Park's first two points of the half. Phenomenal layup by number one. Let's take a look at that replay. But action's on the floor. Turnover after turnover. Windsor with the ball. Big scramble. College Park is able to get it back. Number one's driving down. Nine to seven. With the layup. Nine to six. College Park with a four straight points. 11 to six now for College Park. Five points ahead. They're moving the ball really well. Shot from the top of the key by Missed. Windsor, but unfortunately a miss. College Park with another two again. points. College Park is on a six point run. Whatever this coach said in that timeout must have worked. Let's They're see finding they great fast break going. opportunities. For those of you on the live stream, our current score is 13 to six for College Park. College Park has taken a seven point lead in this second half. Let's see how Windsor responds.
identified by two players, is able to find his way to the middle. Our live stream is back. We unfortunately only have a stage camera for now, but we'll see if we can get the other camera going soon. And the layup by Windsor. Windsor with the steal and the layup attempt, but too strong off the glass. But a rebound and going up. Another chance after a block. And that's two points. Great layup by Windsor there to close out the game. Great effort to get two more points there by Windsor, but it's not enough. College Park with the win. Congratulations, College Park, on your 21-9 win. 21-11. 11. 21-11. 21 to 11. They didn't give them the last two points for some reason. Give Windsor their last two points. 29-11. to 11. Great finish from both teams. We'd like to congratulate College Park for finishing the tournament with the bronze medal and winning our consolation finals. Callum, do you have any advice for these teams moving forward or the athletic programs as they continue to look to grow? You know, keep your head up, keep working hard. Both teams put an amazing effort out there. There's a lot of things to go over, you know, a lot of work to be done, but when everyone put, starts putting in that work, I think both teams will be great. I think about that timeout College Park called when they were up seven to six. And whatever their coach said, and whatever lineup he put on the floor, they started running away with the points in the fast break. What a product of great coaching and great team play to finish out this basketball game and come out with a dub. Our grade one class is here trying to input. Grade ones, all of you can speak into this mic for two seconds. Is there anything you'd like to tell the live stream? Well, if, well, it's a great oh, I think they, oh. Did you have a lot of fun watching the game, grade one? Yeah! Thanks, grade one. Hope you enjoy going back to class. You enjoying going back to class. High five, Shalem. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. We'd like to thank Callum Wright for joining us on our third place bronze medal cast. Callum, do you have anything left to say for our live stream? Thanks for having me. And I just hope we have a good rest of the game. We can get the cameras back up. You know, see who comes out with the win overall in this tournament. Viewers, that was Callum Wright, our captain for our Omega basketball team this past 2023 2024 basketball season with lots of positive words for these two teams and the rest of the teams that played here today we are now moving into our finals matchup with Crawford East facing Crawford Maine we're gonna cut to Dale Brown on the mic announcing our final game here in the gym. Not Dale Brown on the mic, our assistant athletic director, Akeem Ambrose, on the mic, welcoming our final two teams. For our first half of the game, we'd like to welcome Nijon Burke, our starting point guard for our recent Omega basketball season. Nijon, welcome to the cast. Thank you for having me, thank you for having me. What have you thought about last game? Uh, what did you think about last game? Uh, it was a pretty good game, you know? Came down, we scored nine to 21, number one. He was making some plays for his team, getting them open. This time, he didn't get mad at his team. And yeah. If you were here earlier in our cast, Nijon, our starting point guard, our past basketball season, called out College Park's number one and said he really appreciated his game. He yep. was able to give that boy some advice in a previous game, and it looks like that advice paid off, Nijon. Yep. It's good to give young, young kids some good advice to help them in their future. As we look at this finals matchup between Crawford East and Crawford Maine, what are your thoughts on the two teams playing against each other here in our finals? Um, it's really good to have two Crawford teams to ha um, play in the finals. I feel like it's gonna be a very intense game. Uh, we've got, uh, we've got Elijah Alexander. I'm hearing that he's 
top five in the in the country. So I would like to see how you play today mm -hmm. versus our Crawford team. Yeah. They're big prospects here in this matchup, and we're going to be able to take a look at them as the game starts. Who are you watching for our junior high team to really step up and make a difference? Uh, I got my faith in Malachi and Kingston, our point guard and center. Malachi, our starting center for our Crawford Omega Main basketball team, and Kingston, our starting point guard for our main basketball team. Malachi is in grade eight, and Kingston is in grade seven. Two middle schoolers doing and trying to give their best for our team in the finals. Do you know the names of any of the Crawford East players? Uh, no, just Elijah Alexander, that's it. Mm -hmm. Nigel, let's make some predictions. Who do you have winning this finals? Uh, I had to go with us, Crawford Mean. Why? Uh, I don't know. I just have real faith in them um, since the jump I was going on. I was cheering for them for the whole tournament. Uh, I actually coached them yesterday for their practice. So let's see if that all pays off for this championship game. A lot of love here from our guest, Nijon, for the Crawford home team coming into finals. We'll see if they'll be able to execute on their game plan. We're, the teams are finalizing their plans for the game, picking their starting lineups, deciding on their offense and defense. Mr. what's your score predictions? I'm hoping that we get more than 20 points from both teams. Um, do you know what the highest scoring game was this tournament? Do you know? Uh, no, I don't actually. Crawford East is the first team to take the floor. Crawford Main still deciding on what to do and who to start, or some final words from Mr. Kudanin, our middle school coach. Right, let's go Crawford. Starting players for Crawford Main's team are, as far as I can tell, Andrew Kingston. We'll wait until they're all on the floor. Actually, we're going to cut to Dale Brown on the mic. Let's go, Crawford. As always, Crawford maintains its reputation for being an intimidating home court for visiting teams. You can hear the spirit here on the live stream of all the people who've come out to support this year's teams. The tip, win, finding Talia down low, but a bobbled ball. And let's see what the call on the floor is. Nigel, can you tell what happened? I actually didn't. Screw it appears that it's out of bounds off of Crawford. I think it was a missed pass. And out of bounds off Crawford, Maine. Crawford, Maine is in the camo and pink. Oh, Crawford East like is in the burgundy. No one back on defense. Crawford East with the missed layup. Second chance point here with the rebound. Shot from the corner. Not good. Maine's unable to corral the rebound, and we have a whistle on the floor. That was some really good defense by Crawford right there. Crawford allowed a layup early, but was able to get back and pressure East to kick the ball and turn the ball over. 
Kingston with the ball up top the middle. Looking to set up our first set play. A give and go down the line. Unable to finish the layup. East with the rebound. By Malachi, but East is able to get out. And defense coming back down the floor. A give and go into the wing side. Layup down the baseline. Unable to finish. Rebounded by Malachi. East and stolen by Malachi. Kingston's able to find Talia inside, but she can't hold the ball. East with the steal. She catch that. That's a good pass. Big body going down the line. Blocking foul by Malachi. That's his first for the game. No shot on that play. We're going to get an inbound from the side. And East is going to have a chance to set up their offense. Inbounds into the post. One on one. Malachi's trying to contain. He goes under the basket but gives up on the post play. Three pointer from the left side off the back of the iron. Malachi is able to grab that rebound. Turnover with a reckless pass, but Kingston's able to get a steal. Finds Andrew. Reckless pass inside. That was a very Number bad pass. Number from East is able to steal the ball. Come on. Pass from the wing to the top of the key. Finds the lane. That is a blocking foul by Andrew. See there? You should keep your hands up. But hands up, body out of the way, right, Nijon? Yeah, but like, I'm not going to lie. I didn't do that when I was on the court. I need to work on that because I usually get in foul trouble when I do that. A bit of honesty from our starting point guard. For those of you who are viewers, that was a foul because instead of using their legs, they used their body to get in the way of the shot. And because he was in a shooting motion, East is able to take the first two free throws of the game. That's our first points of the game. One free throw made by t number 21, Crawford East. One more free throw for 21. He was able to make the first, looking to get one more. Ball is live off the bounce. He misses, but is able to get his own rebound. Great hustle there from 21. Finds a pass to the top of the key. Back to 12, back to him. Post play inside, Malachi defending. Turns the shoulder, underneath the basket layup. Rebounded by East. Jump shot, made. Elijah. It's a good matchup. I like to see Malachi versus Elijah. I was waiting for this the whole day. He's getting better of him right now. 3 nothing for Crawford East. Kingston's able to find a cutter inside. Andrew with two points. Great cut to the basket. 3-2 to two for Crawford East. But Omega showing that they're not going to back down. Long pass down. Deflected by Daniel, but East is able to corral it. Finds number 12 on the other side of the court. Three-pointer misses. Rebounded by Malachi. A little too strong under on the shot. A little too strong in that shot. Malachi looks inside. Bad That's pass. Nice. Easy steal by East. East now with a lane to the basket. Foul by Kingston. That's an easy call for a ref to make. You got to stop number 21, too. He's a little underdog. Him and Elijah work together. You need to stop both of them to win the game. Great hustle by Crawford East right now to create opportunities right there. It's number 21's first trip to the line. What do you think Kingston could have done better defensively there to not foul? Oh, uh, he could have probably stood there and took a charge. It would have been a good play to do. Instead of hugging your man, getting in front of the ball and taking that charge. Great advice from our starting point guard. 21 is able to hit his first free throw and we are at four to two. A two point lead for Crawford East. Our directors are working on getting the overlay for the score back soon, guys. So hopefully we'll get those things functional as soon as possible. Number 21 about to take his second free throw of the game. He was able to make his first. Let's see how he does now. Nice arc and form on the shot, but a little to the right. A lane violation called by the referee. Looks on like Crawford, Maine. 21's going to get another chance for this shot. It looks like this has been a sub with Kingston. Mm -hmm. You got to take care of not jumping early on those free throws. 21's able to make the most of that second chance, and now the score is 5-2 to two for Crawford East. Reckless pass to an easy deflection by number 12. Crawford Main's got to be careful with throwing the ball away. An inbound once again. 
What do you think Crawford Man can be doing better to avoid these deflections by East, Nigel? Um, possibly set screens to each other to get each other open mm -hmm. and make better passes because it looks like they just made a bad pass there again. I'd really like to also see... Oh, Malachi driving in and able to get a foul. Great drawn foul by Malachi on lazy defense by Crawford East. I'd really like to see not just um, screens on the ball, but if they don't have the ball to move. If you're just standing still and waiting for the ball to come to you, you're easily defended. Yeah. But if you're moving without the ball, then you're able to get cuts like Andrew was able to do for the first two points. That's right. Malachi with the first free throw, too strong to the left side. What can Malachi be doing to do better uh, on his free throws? T take his time. You know, for the future, we're going to need that because he's grade eight and it looks like he's going to be trying out next year. So he needs to take his time on his free throws because these are valuable shots right here. These are free points, and we'd like to see him hit these, especially because we know, like Nijon said, he's coming to high school next year. It would be great to see our junior highs with fundamentals as they make the jump to high school. Malachi's second free throw to make. I think he, I don't know if he heard you, Nijon, but you saw he took a breath before taking that shot. For our viewers, without the overlay, the current score is Crawford East 5, Crawford Main 3. An easy layup missed that was way on a too baseline easy. runner. Malachi's able to find a shot. A mm. weird turnaround, but a second chance by Andrew. A whistle on the floor. And a foul. Pushing by Crawford East. Andrew's going to get two shots from the line. See if he'll take his time here. Again, for our viewers, remember if you're taking free throws. Take your time at the line. These are free points. Take your shot, do what you've practiced, make it. We have three minutes and 41 seconds. Andrew with a rush shot into the backboard. Aside from... Four, three? Five, three. Oh. Five, three, four, called properties aside from doing better at free throws what do you think Crawford Main can be doing better on offense no John uh so I heard they have a, a play a play for their offense I think they should run that a, a couple of times see how that goes mm -hmm. if not adjust to everything and see how how we can get more more points doing what you do in practice is such a big part of success on the court uh we weren't able to commentate on that, but Malachi was able to get a rebound off a missed shot and a pushing foul. Loose ball on Crawford East 21. I believe that's his second. We currently have two minutes and 43 seconds remaining in our first half. Kingston with a three-pointer mm. off the front of the iron. Rebounded by Crawford East. 15 with the ball at the top of the team. Defended by Malachi, giving him a bit of space and tempting him to shoot. Great screen there. Pass to the left side wing. Good defense. Loses the ball to Leo with a steal. A foul running behind by both 15 and number eight. Let's see who the ref calls it on. Number eight for pushing from behind. To Leo, great hustle to get that steal. Crawford Main's going to get the inbound on the side. Let's see if they're able to set up that offense you're talking about, Nijon. Oh, it looks like they don't. Andrew finds Talia on the right side. Talia throws the ball away. Number 12 with the steal, finds a cutter inside. Isn't able to go up with the layup, but is able to reset. Finds 15 at the top of the key. Biggest guy in the court, takes a 20, Good rebound. 24 footer and misses. Rebound by Crawford. Kingston finds Talia on the side. Another wild pass to Malachi, who corrals it, takes an open shot and misses. East with the rebound. 21 running down. That is a foul. What did Ben do wrong on that defensive play, Najon? He's using more of his arms. Too much arms on those, on those drives. Too much arms on the drive. You've got to beat the offensive player with your legs to the spot. And then you've got to, like Najon said earlier, take those charges. Get in front of those players. I know. 
I already said that. It's okay <laughs> to be self-critical on stream, guys. <sighs> 21 is unable to make that first free throw. We have 34 seconds. For those of us who are, who are viewing for the first time, our games are 10 minutes running time. No stops because we are on a time crunch to finish these games. 21's able to take the second free throw and the score is now 3-2-6 for Crawford East. Malachi with the Malachi drive. Malachi with the drive down the middle. A layup to nowhere. Andrew gets a rebound. Yes. Great driving layup past the defense. Way to hustle on that second chance point. He's a very good player too. I was watching him at practice. That's the end of our first half. Current score is Crawford East 6. Crawford Main 5. Nijon, what did you think of our first half? Go Crawford, more support. have been offensive opportunities, especially for East, but they haven't been able to capitalize on those, op those opportunities. And then aside from Andrew on the offense, no one else has really been able to attack the ball or attack the paint. Let's see if Crawford Main is able to make better use of their chances in the second half. Because Crawford Main won the tip, Crawford East gets the ball to begin this half. Let's see what their coach has set up. A whistle on the ball again. Twelve minutes running time for this half. A turnover to start that quarter, or start the half by Crawfordies. Not a great pass. We've been seeing a lot of these bad passes this game so far, Jacob. What do you think our teams can be doing better to avoid throwing away the ball and getting these turnovers? Kingston is able to get his first two. Uh, for our viewers, two-man passes would be a pass two people away from you. 
will tell you when we see another one here on the stream. That's a one pass away. Um, he was right beside the ball when he got the ball. Oh, look at that. We have all three cameras going. 15 with the ball. Rebound again and a whistle on the floor. I believe that's a shooting foul. He might be on Malachi. He might be a foul. Malachi, if that's his foul, that would be his second of the game. Malachi holding his neck. I hope he's okay. It appears he collided with number 15, and both of them have been affected by it. Crawford, Maine, by the way, with Kingston's layup, is able to get their first lead of the game. Up one point, seven to six. Let's see if Crawford, Maine, is able to hold on or if Ace does take the lead back with this free throw. This set of free throws. 15 with the shot. Off the front of the rim. What do you think he can be doing better with his free throws, Jacob? Patience, you know, timing, deep breath. You can't be nervous when you take the three throw. So you gotta, I feel like he needs to set and just one motion. Set and one motion, take a breather. Good arc on this shot is also very important. Let's see if he's able to make the most of his second shot. This is looking yes. better and it goes in. One motion. East is able to tie the game. Crawford Main bringing the ball up. Ball in Kingston's hands, looking to set up a play. Malachi sitting in the paint, receives a post up, throws it backwards. A layup attempt, but I don't know if it's a very good one and a whistle on the floor. It appears he's hurt his knee or his ankle. Coaches have come on the floor. Main is going to be called back to their bench. He appears to be their best player. based on the expression on his face. We're going to cut to this camera. Right now, Mrs. Bergenhall and Mr. Coleman checking on their player. Mr. Brown is also running to help. The referees are taking a look. Some of the college park teachers are taking a look as well. Our boy is up. We're not sure what it is by the look of it. It doesn't appear to be an ankle. It might have been a cramp in his leg. He seems to be okay now. A lot of appreciation here from our crowd for number 15 being able to get up. The call on the floor was a shooting foul on Crawford East, so Kingston's going to be taking two free throws. We're going to see if we can stretch this lead. Because it was an injury, the clock has been stopped. We're at 9.42 remaining in this second period. East is recuperating. They're trying to figure out who to have on the floor. 15 has been substituted off for the time being. We're going to see what they do to play, both on offense and defense. Offense without number 15 is going to be very different without their main ball handler on the floor. How do you think East is going to do without number 15, Jacob? He might be, he might have to step up. We're looking at 21 and number 12 to step up from East to cover the difference, lost by 15. Kingston's able to make his first free, th free throw. Crawford with another lead in the game, two in a row. Great free throws from Kingston. Nine to seven for Crawford, Maine. East to inbound the ball. Yeah, he's bringing up the ball. He's... Whistle on the floor. The referee has called a stop to the play. 15 looks like he's he might be coming back in. We're looking for a substitution by Crawford East, perhaps. Current score right now is 9 to 7 for Crawford Main. Kingston's two free throws putting Crawford ahead. Crawford East trying to figure out who's on the floor right now as well as take care of the injury that has happened. Again, here we're really hoping no one is severely hurt. We don't know what it is right now. He's got an ice pack on his knee, and it appears he is in a considerable amount of pain. 
They're going to need him for the final stretch. He is one of their better players, so we're hoping in order to have a competitive match that he is okay and that we see him on the floor again soon. The remainder of the Crawford East players have taken to the floor. Uh, the referee is just checking to make sure that everything is fine on the bench. Crawford Main is finalizing their plans with their coach, Mr. Kudanin. Let's see what Crawford has on defense for this East rebound. Seems like they're pressing. It's looking like full court man-to-man -man press. A lot of pressure from the Crawford teams. Let's see if East has a response to this. Jacob, what do you think East can do to break a full court man-to-man -man press? Passing. A lot of passing. A lot of passing. A lot of and unrushed and good passing. Maybe not like that. Yeah, that wasn't good. The key to breaking a press, guys, is movement off the ball. Sometimes setting screens depending oh, on what type of pass break man. you're expecting. And expecting the ball when it's passed to you. Yeah. It looked like he was given the pass two times and he wasn't ready for the ball either time. That's an outbounds turnover for Crawford East. Kingston dribbles the ball back into the middle, passes to Daniel on the other side. Andrew received the ball in the wing, Ooh, passes no. back to Daniel. He didn't look no, like he was ready no, for the ball. No. Oh. 21's unable to control the ball and turns it back over. Oh, Lord. Ball is on the floor. Someone pick it up. 21 picks it up. A layup attempt, uh, unable to get the rebound. That was, that, a play. <laughs> that was a play. Good attempts, but not very much control in any of those plays there. Seems like number 15 is coming back in now. Okay, to the 15 is subbing back into the game for number five, for Crawford East. It looks like his knee's okay. Let's see if he's able to contribute on offense. East with the inbound, three-pointer from the left side wing, doesn't go in. Holding foul on number 15 on Malachi. That's a foul on Crawford East. Malachi inbounds the ball to Kingston. Let's see if Crawford's able to stretch this lead. Kind of want to see Malachi taking a little bit more shots. I've only seen him take one. A few more shots suggested by Jacob for Malachi on the live stream. Andrew with a shot. Also a miss, rebounded by number 15. Let's see if East is able to set up some offense. Good defense from Malachi. Good defense by Malachi, yes. Oh, swats the ball out. Still East ball, a deflection by Malachi, keeps the pressure. Then a lot of time has passed before they've crossed the ball. Oh, it was off of East. Oh, no, it's not. I'm mistaken, it's still East ball. Five minutes and seven seconds remaining in the second half. East has the ball. Crawford Main is up two points. They gotta go down the court. Good defense, Malachi. Malachi with great and defensive an eight pressure. Second eight second violation. What do you think Malachi did well in that set? Uh, shuffled, great shuffle. Uh, was in a defensive stance, so he was able to move fluently. For those of you on the stream who are unfamiliar with basketball, shuffling means using your legs to get across and move horizontally to stay in front. Unfortunately, a turnover by Crawford Main. Crawford East was able to get into the lane. Layup attempt by East and a foul by Kingston. Kingston protesting, but he definitely hit him with his arm on the way up there. Don't want to get a tech here. That would not be good. East gets two free throws. They're looking to tie up the score. Again, score nine to seven for Crawford Main. First Ooh. free throw, no good. That might come back to bite them. Any advice you have for number 12 in terms of shooting? Yeah, same thing, just relax. And he relaxed. Off the backboard, one motion, able to get it in. Crawford East is now down one point. Maine's going to try to reply. Ooh. And Andrew the stare down. Was able to get in the lane, but big block by number 15. Do we have a replay? No, no replay. But get that shot out of here, number 15 said with that effort. Kingston with the layup. Where was the defense? Kingston's able to stretch Crawford's lead to three points. 
Ooh. That might oh. be another one on Malachi. Reaching foul by Malachi. That would be his third of the game. Two more and our boy is out. Can't pick it up in these last two minutes. That would be a heartbreaker. He's playing great defense on number 15 so far. A lot of love here from the commentator booth for Malachi's defense so far, number 15, despite the foul. He has been using his legs for the most part in his defense. It's the matchup once again. He gives the inside shoulder. 15's uh, able to take an easy man. run to the lane. You I cannot too give soon. up middle penetration that easily on such a good player. Give and go Ooh. for Kingston. Great block inside. Kingston throws it wild into the defense. I don't know if that was a pass. Get on the ground. Big effort and a scramble for the ball. It's going to be Crawford main with the ball deflected off of Crawford East. Let's see if Maine is able to stretch their lead. Timeout for Crawford Maine. There is one minute and 55 seconds running time remaining in this second period. Wow. Jacob, what do you think Maine needs to do in order to keep this lead and win this game? If it's a run clock, realistically, you really should just hold the ball. But, um... I think attack the lane. They've been fouling a lot. You don't need to force anything. You could run out of the clock and attack, try to get to the line. Attack the lane, run out the clock, get to the line. There is no shot clock for these middle school teams. So theoretically, Crawford could just hold the ball and force East to play to them. 118 remaining in the game. Let's see if Crawford Man is able to hold on to this lead or if East is able to steal back some points. They cannot turn over the ball at all. Daniel to inbound the ball. Easy inbound, no deny from East. No, no, oh, they turned it over. Lazy pass. Dribbling down the middle, it. but reckless with the dribbling. A jump ball call by the ref. This is going to be Maine's ball because East had the last jump ball at the beginning of the quarter. Wasteful possession and an opportunity there for East to take the lead, but they weren't able to. Clock Referee is, calling a whistle. Clock is still running. Now it stopped. That is an inbound violation. No. Oh, she got it back. Never mind. Malachi with another opportunity to inbound the ball, finds the Harmony clock. after a pass from Andrew. Good turn over Kingston the ball. with no, a three-pointer, no. long and far, no. air ball. Andrew nearly rebounded that one in, but tips it out of bounds. I don't know if that was a shot. East with the ball That's now. Crazy. Dribbling down the middle, someone get we'll a body oh, in front. The ball. ball in the key, no, 12 well, with an shot. open shot. Rebound. Rebounded by oh, East again. Wow. Take the layup. They have the lead. Seconds. 12 to 11. 11 seconds now. Somebody's got to take the shot. Malachi with the ball. ball. Oh. Big oh, defensive no. pressure from East, but they travel. Wow. 4.4 seconds on the clock. What a game. Crawford ball. What a game. That was a great shot by number 12. Great shot by number 12 for our viewers. 12-11 for Crawford East right now. 4.4 seconds remaining in the second period. East has the ball off a timeout. Let's see if they're able to set up a play. I really think Kingston should have waited a little bit longer. It wasn't a bad try. He was have to try to get free throws. What was that East it? already celebrating. It was running time. The clock wasn't oh, supposed to stop. That no. is it. It is zero seconds. Wow. 12 to 11 at the end of this second period. Heartbreaker, heartbreaker. Crawford heartbreaker. East with the lead at the end of the second period. That is a heartbreaker for Crawford Main. Wow. That appears to be the game, unless we're playing quarters. If that is the end of the second half, then there are no more chances for Crawford Maine. That last possession, I'm not sure who it was, but there was a girl on Crawford East. Great defense on Malachi when he was coming up the court. 
to force a turnover. There were a lot of wasteful opportunities for Crawford Main there. They had the lead with 50 seconds. They didn't have to take a shot. Even in the turnover that ended up giving the ball away, throwing the ball into a middle to a bad pass that was defended, gave away that ball, and then Crawford East was able to drive down the lane, get a chance at a shot. They were able to close it out and make it. That is the game. They are shaking hands. East wow. takes the win. And the first ever wow, wow, wow. tournament win between these middle school teams. Crawford East are the winners and the champions of the East. first ever Owasa basketball tournament. Great game by both teams. Crawford Main should be really proud. They got to the finals. Congratulations to Crawford East. They were down. They couldn't, you know, stay down, bowed out. But with 50 seconds left, forced a turnover and took the lead. Great resilience from Crawford East. And despite the lapses by Crawford Main in the end of that period, they played well at least to start the second half. Yeah. Unfortunately, they weren't able to close it out and they will finish second this year in the Owasa tournament. That is a zoom into Crawford East, our champions this year. We'd like to congratulate all teams for their participation this year. Jacob, do you have any final thoughts on our final matchup? Um, great game by both teams. I wish Crawford Main came out with the win, but um, they did a great job. Both teams did a great job. It was a lot of defense, um, a couple scoring, but all in all, the late game heroics made it a really good game. Late Game Heroics really did make this one an exciting one. Thank you, Jacob, for your commentary today. It was great having you on the cast. Any final words you'd like to say for the stream? Uh, go Crawford. We're three-peating next year. Yes, sir. Three-peating next year. Calling out our Omega Varsity teams. Thank you one more time, Jacob. And that's been it for this year's tournament. Thank you for tuning into the live stream again. Our athletic department for elementary did a great job working with the other schools, putting this together. This event would not have been possible without all of the efforts of all of these individuals working together. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you on the next all one. Right. So this is or, are we streaming the award ceremony? We will bring it to the microphone on the stage.
photographers want to take a picture, the request is that each team correlates themselves on the three-point line facing the stage. That means everybody with the basketball in their hand and dribbling it here needs to stop. So first and foremost, can we get Crawford Omega East? We're gonna put you guys center, right in the middle. We'll go second to side, and third to side, that was open there. We're not talking just yet, is that okay? Come on, class. Class is doing session. Coaches as well. Crawford main campus. Crawford main campus. Grand View Academy. Can we get Kamal Park? Kamal Park? If you're shorter, come to the front. We got Windsor, we got Peel, we got London, we got Ottawa. When this is done, can I have one coach of each team meet me in the middle of the jump? One coach of each team meet me in the middle of the jump. Now this is done.
Hello, hello. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys so much for cooperating. If you very simply want to, if you want to take one very good picture, and if you're, if you're a coach or coaching staff, we invite you to join your team. Either if you're short, or if you're looking to sit in the front. If you're too, I'm not looking at your arms. I'm not looking at you. But if you're taller, we'll look at the back. Uh, if you are a visitor, after the first picture is taken, if you're a supporter of that team, you can join the back of the team, all right? So let's go first with the and team. Biggest, brightest smiles up towards us over here. We're going to invite our conference directors and pastors to the front. Is that okay? We get you guys.
Okay. 